Uh, railroad name. So I kind of want that to be SQRL. Northumberland and Ducktown Railway. Nah. Nah, we've got to make it. We're going to do something. Uh, let's see. Seriously. Quick. <laughs> Railroad. Um, what can I have for L? It's got, it's got to, it's got to match the SQRL, you see. Seriously quick. Railroad. Links? Line? Limited? Uh, logistics? Yeah, I like that. Logistics. Let's go with that. Seriously quick. Railroad logistics. <laughs> Which is nothing like what they're going to get. <laughs> Liability is a good one as well, but we'll go with logistics. Right, start. Jumping. There we go. We are... I'll just let it load the scenery. It's a bit like... I don't know if it's Unreal Engine, but Unreal Engine's like this. It's very laggy while it's loaded, and then once it's all loaded, it's nice and smooth. But yeah, there we go. It should be working okay. Oh, is it Unity? Right, okay. Yeah, there you go. Right, can I save it? Yep. Right, let's do this tutorial. So it's going to teach me the basics, some of which I already know to do with, like, moving around and jumping and all that kind of thing. Wee. I mean, I'm playing it in 4K. Oh, by the way, I reinstalled Windows. I'm now on Windows 11. It wasn't as painful as I thought it was going to be. It was made even better when I came across a utility for $5, which made it look more like Windows 10. I was quite happy about that. <laughs> Other than that, it's yeah, it's been pretty stable. I also spent some time overclocking my PC and fine-tuning it, so I squeezed a bit more power out of my CPU. <laughs> yeah, the fun things you do. <laughs> Right, let me just quickly catch up on track. What, what did we get up to? Aussie Trayman, 30 months, Sunday Cheap, Iron Duke, we did. Dutch TS, 51. Fangs, I did. Trembo with 29. Uh, Seropi with, sorry, Trembo with 29. Seropi with 29. Jimbo with 34. Dyslexic Hacker did four years, 48 months. Chalky did nine months with a Twitch baby. Uh, Nobody Bops did a year, 12 months. Uh, Synesthesia gifted five subs. Welcome, guys. Welcome to the stream. Uh, synesthesia, thank you very much for gifting five subs. Demi Lad did 72, which mental maths is six years, I think. So thank you very much for six years of support, Demi Lad. Uh, J10 gifted a sub to 87 Fire Dragons. Because why not? Big Drama Drew with 13 months. That is a difficult name to say. Big Drama Drew. D Dutch, thank you for 58 months. Happy Trains. Larry with a 20 months. Modern trains are quite shy in the old days. They had plenty of esteem. <laughs> Hope you're well. Thank you, Larry. Mandy K with 26 months. And the DC with 71. Right, so. I don't know if the overlay is going to work. We'll have to see. Let me know if something gets covered up. It basically goes on about today's a day. We own... we. We're our own railroad. The Atlantic Railway might not have thought the area was worth the time, but now it's in our hands. We got one and a half good engines out the deal, <clears throat> and the roundhouse in Bryson is in good shape. Trouble is, it doesn't do as much good with the bridge at Ella still out. I've heard about this. There's a bridge somewhere that you have to rebuild, I think. Uh, this yard is East Whittier, will be our home for now. It's got a yard that doubles as an interchange with the Atlantic Railway to the east. Now, there is actually a compass. Um, if you look here, you'll you'll very vaguely see the letter E right at the top of the screen. You see that? It's, it's really, even for me, it's really difficult to catch that. But roughly, where I'm looking now is east, um, which means that over that way is north, and then that way is west, roughly. So, yeah, that line effectively goes out to the east by the look of it. Uh, the shot is Whittier, there was railway land. The coal, okay, so doubles and interchange with the Atlantic Railway to the east, 
and the engine service facilities. The coal conveyor water column and engine shed are more than enough for current needs. So this is our engine shed. Um, this here is the coal um, conveyor and the water column. So we've got an empty gondola over here. We've got effectively a derailed train over here which is why it says one and a half trains because we've got one working train and one well one working loco one broken loco by the look of it and then there's like this sidings area i'm not sure if we own any of this stuff or not i'm guessing we do but it looks like um some kind of oh my god it actually says it on the side seriously quick railroad logistics that, <laughs> that is amazing it actually has our name written on the side of it. Oh, brilliant. Oh, oh, oh that's so good. And that looks like a caboose that we can stick on for something. Seriously quick, Railroad Logistics 500. Fantastic. <laughs> Does it show SQRL somewhere? Because that would be amazing as well. Never mind. Um, right. Uh, Rally, thank you for some six. Jappy one with 82. Jaffa with 90. Lucky Shot with 49. And Dark CC with 21. Uh, reposition this window. Yeah, okay. By dragging it around. Close it by clicking X. Don't see any buttons. Yada, yada, yada. Right. Job briefing. Let's get on with this. Before we get to running any passengers off freight, we have a few things to attend around the shop. Here's the plan for today. Get familiar with the engine and take on coal and water. Uh, rescue the derailed locomotive. Order some more coal and take the hopper to the interchange. Uh, run a passenger train from Whittier to Ella west of here and set up your first freight contracts with customers. Let's start by getting familiar with how to look around. Okay, we, we know this. Basically, you press one for first person, you press two for overhead camera. Yeah, so one, two. So in overhead camera mode, kind of looks. Interestingly, we should have, there's us, right? This is us here. There you go. Look. So that's, that's me in charge of seriously quick railroad logistics. Jack Sims, thank you for 107, sir. Lars, thank you for 13. So that's first and second person, right? Uh, you're welcome, Mr. WC. Uh, the selected camera moves WASD right, right mouse. So it's weird, this. You move around with WASD, and then you have to hold the right mouse button down to be able to turn. It takes a bit of getting used to. Anyway, in first person, middle mouse resets the zoom and spacebar jumps. So you can actually zoom in quite a bit, because if you stand over here, mouse wheel, you can zoom in all the way to that level which is quite useful. And then there's this not so useful fish eye view. <laughs> and if you middle mouse click, it resets. Thank you, Benno. Uh, hold shift to run, I've done all that. And control to move the overhead camera. Okay, so if you go into the overhead camera, which is number two, how do you move it up? So if you press the control, uh, don't know, you move the camera up. Oh, mouse wheel, okay. And then if you hold control, it goes really quick. Oh my God. So that's the line. Whee! Okay, we've got all that. Remember, the cameras are completely independent. You can use this to your advantage. Okay, reset that. Climb aboard. Let's climb over the engine just outside. Find the ladder, press W. Okay, so you basically walk up to this bit, I think, and you end up getting on board. And then that's the engineer's seat. And then you can kind of look around. Click on the engineer's window to open it and press E to lean out. Uh, okay. There you go. 
Now let's look at the controls. Engines have four controls. Throttle, reverse, independent brake, and train brake. Use your mouse and tooltips to find these controls. Okay, so your, your train brake is here. Your indie brake is up here. This is your reverser. And the throttle is... Where is the throttle on this thing? There. There's the throttle. There are your main ones. So down here, you've got cylinder cock lever. I'm amazed it even has that. Train brake cutout. What else have we got there? They're not modelled. Water level for the, the boiler. I don't know how much this is modelled, to be honest. Is there no mouse look? I can't find one. You hold right mouse button. Uh, before we cover the brakes, independent brake, train brake, yeah, 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 each brake has its own handle. Try applying and releasing each brake. Okay, so fully forward, fully applied. Leave the indie brake applied. Okay, so we'll bring the train brake off. Okay, throttle and reverse is set between zero and 100%. Uh, blah 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 controls the pistons reverser we know all that yep okay Set to your engine let's look at the engine from the outside so shift to the camera with two then shift two to enter the camera to center the camera on your character so shift two puts you into like an orbit mode by the look of it it's not meant to be realistic and in, in depth. No, I don't. It's not a train driving game, is it? It's more of a train logistics management game, I think. Uh, Carl Martins, thank you for stopping with Prime. World of Madness, thank you for 69 months. Gabriella with 17. Boeing with 125. Thank you, sir. Welcome back. Yeah, totally. Right, so... Shift to uh, next, control click on your engine. So control click on your engine brings that up. Uh, this opens the inspector window, or inspector for short. Uh, the inspector can be used to view information about the engine and make changes. Uh, click the select button in the bottom left corner when an engine selected its HUD controls are visible. So if you click select, it puts some HUD controls right on the chat, which is really useful. Thanks, game. One second. Okay. Overlay change number one. <laughs> That'll probably get higher later, won't it? So it says SQRL2. That's brilliant. SQRL2, two cars, 70, 70 tons. That is the train brake. That is the indie brake. That's the throttle. That's the reverser. And that's the speed. Uh, close the inspector window, okay. Right, the HUD controls are simply another way to control the engine. They operate the same as the 3D controls. Yep, we've got that. Notice the numbers and the slider knobs. The throttle number represents the throttle percentage. The reverser shows whether it's forward or reverse. The train brake and indie brake show the pressure in the brake line and the pressure in the brake cylinder, respectively. Okay. So that's your train brake. That means there's 90 PSI in the line. And that means there's 72 PSI in the brake cylinder. The meaning of these numbers is a bit involved for this tutorial. HUD brake display. The HUD controls also show a graphical representation of the brakes in the cars coupled to your selected engine. The two rectangular dots just above the slider. So I, I think it's on about these two red dots here. Like really, really subtly, those two red dots. And it's basically saying that if it's red, the brakes are fully applied. If it's white or beige, it's fully released. If it's purple, the handbrake is applied. And if it's grey, it's derailed. <laughs> Kelly, thank you for 99 months. You are so close to 100. So close. A small walking icon will appear between cars when the air is not connected. More on connecting air later. A 
a small warning icon. Okay. So if you've, if you've forgotten a brake hose connection, it'll tell you. Right, select an engine controls. B for bell. H or shift H, hang on. V plus move the mouse up and down for the quill whistle. Okay. J to cycle the headlight setting. Dim on. Interesting. So it's got off, dim, on, rear on, rear dim, off. Fair enough. Zero, track selected car, nine, track end of train. Zero, nine. Okay, so that's jump from the front to the back. Uh, control zero, first person jump to selected car. Hmm. Hit zero now to track your engine. Okay. You got that? Batman, thank you for eight to seven months. Um, let's see. We've got... Next, we'll cover how to top off your water and coal. You can check the fuel and water by hovering the mouse over the tender. We have three tons of coal, 2,000 gallons of water. Using the overhead camera, follow the track ahead of your engine to find the water column. Yep, well, we know what that is. It's basically this thing. About 50 yards away. Go to, you need to go through the switches to get there. Both switches are set to normal, meaning they are set for the typical path of a train. <laughs> Wait, what? Click the switch stands and note how the points of the switch, the blades which guide the wheels move. The target circle of the switch stand changes from green to red. Red means reversed or diverging from the normal path. So what is normal in the context of this switch then? Like if you're coming in from this direction, it doesn't show green at all. But if you're going out that way and you're coming from this line, it shows green. I don't know. Is it to the main line? Wouldn't it be better if it just showed you which way it's been thrown? Normal is always lined to the main. Well, that's lined to the main, isn't it? From from this perspective, that's going to go to main as well. And yet it's red. I don't know. Seems a bit odd. Anyway. So that's on green. That's now on red. Okay. Is the lighting bad from the other side? What what lighting, Boeing? What are we talking about? Oh, when you look that way. Yeah, it overblooms in the sky. Is that what you mean? No problem, bubs. Thank you for 44 months, sir. You don't need to be that chatty. It's up to you. Right, set the switches so we can follow them and reach the water. The first one will be normal and the second reversed. Uh, what? The first one will be normal and the second reversed. Nah. You mean the first one will be normal, the second normal, and the third reversed, surely? Unless we're only counting from here, because that one's for that. In which case, one. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's go. First steps, let's move our engine out of the shed. Move the reverser all the way to forward. Release your Indy brake. Uh, now start the bell ringing and give two blasts on the whistle to signal that we are moving forward. <laughs> right, forward. Indy brake off. Bell on. That's 
quick enough. I can almost hear the WAV files being played. Water hatch. Using either camera, find the water hatch at the rear of your tender. Okay, open it. Releasing it. Yeah, okay. So we're just basically going to line up with this thing, aren't we? There's the water hatch. Where do you want to be? Roughly here. Stop. Oh, like a glove. Right. Uh, water is the lifeblood of a steam engine. Without it, your engine will not operate. Water is unlimited on the railroad and can be sourced from water columns such as the one beside us. A good number of water towers and columns can be found across the line. Click the water column spout to rotate it in position. It will start flowing provided your engine's water hatch is close enough. The water will stop when it's full. Once you've got enough water... Stole the spout and close the hatch. Coal is next. Okay. So you can actually see the number going up there. You see it? I wonder if I can make the UI any bigger. Hang on. Preferences. Graphics. UI scale. Because I'm running in 4K, so. How's that? There you go. Is that any more readable? That's full. Close the lid. Uh, someone said you can control the train from the keyboard. I did see some keyboard controls, but they were properly different to train sim. <laughs> Uh, 4K, 180% seems to roughly match when I see 1018 game. Yeah, yeah, we can read the numbers now. It, it was too small. Um, right, the coal conveyor. The hopper is empty, but the conveyor has a bit of coal stored in it. Right, so that's already... It, it's basically saying there's some in the conveyor. Move the engine ahead, stop in the coal bin, click the chute and it will lower. As with the water, coal will only start flowing when it's aligned. You should always check your coal towers and diesel fuel points to see if you need to order more fuel. Oh boy, we have to order stuff. Hover the mouse over the storage portion on the conveyor. It's on the ground to check how much fuel is stored. A thousand pounds of coal. We'll cover ordering fuel later. There's not enough coal to fill the tender, but we should have plenty for our work. Click on the chute to stow it. Okay, let's see about rescuing the engine. Right, so let's go forward a little bit. I don't know. Do you even have the game pubs? Click on that. That's quite a lot on that conveyor. <laughs> Next. Let's get that away. Right. Let's get our bearings. We're stopped on the yard and engine service lead, a track which runs parallel to the main, yard, main line. The main line runs east-west. Our head end is pointed towards the western end of the railroad. Open the map with M. The map shows a track, engines, location names, and your camera view. Each time you open the map, it centers on your camera. Okay. The main line, uh, you can click and drag to pan. Okay, so that's, is that the camera view? Yes. It's shown as water here. Local number two. Local number one is over there. Ahead of us is Whittier. 
What does the 25 mean? Is that the speed limit? There's another water tower there. There's something. That branch is the way. It goes north to Ella. Oh, it mentioned a bridge at Ella, didn't it? Is that the bridge, maybe? Government Island, Bryson. There's a lot of disconnected rail lines going on here. You see this? Almond. Holy smoke. <laughs> okay. I can't zoom out anymore, but it seems reasonably big. Oh, it goes this way as well. Interchange. Yeah, they should add a bit of color to this, shouldn't they? I presume it's an unlock. I don't know. Uh, press Control T to move your camera to the point your mouse is over, enabling you to quickly move across the map. Wait a sec. So if I do Control T, though. Holy smoke. Okay, so that is Whittier, and there's a massive water tower here. Let's go and have a look at this up here. Hang on. I want to see what's going on up here. Oh, that bridge is there, I think. Oh, no. No, it's not. No, I see the problem. <laughs> that looks like one of my dodgy railroads online constructions. Yeah, there's literally no track on it yet. And there's a tree in the way. This is definitely railroads online. And then there's just... Oh, no, they built the track to here. Hmm. <clears throat> Uh, control T to move your camera. You can also use Control T to move your character to the mouse is located within the world. Hang on, let me go back. Wait, so if you do Control T, oh look at that. So if I point over there and do Control T, T to teleport, it can literally teleport around the map. Get back inside. Uh, shift two. There we go. Okay. Uh, Paul, your longest follow channel. Can't resub. Come through a rough time. I'll support you. It's fine, Addy. It's no problem, my friend. Rutiger, thank you for giving us up to Drac or Drash. Thank you for eight months. Um, Bubs, I already thank you for. I don't think I've missed anybody else. Thank you, guys. Um, right, control T, done that. Navigating the wreck. Find the derailed engine. Well, we know what that is. You can see the cardinal directions on the top of your screen. Yeah, sure you can. The letter E there. You see that? The most subtle compass I have ever seen. Uh, Alan Bowen, thank you for gifting sub to Audi. Welcome back, Audi. If you're having trouble finding it, click on M. You'll see 200 markers, one for the engine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pull ahead to the switch, throw it, roll down. Right, go close to the wreck, about 20 yards. Keep your speed low, right. Okay, let's take the brake off. Let's start moving. That's on green, so that's fine. That's on green, that's fine, that's on green. Okay, so we'll come to, like, here or something. That compass is terrible. Like, genuinely terrible. Why does it sound like a stapler? Oh, smooth transition to a different WAV file. making weird noises. Right, let's go that way.
Right, if I've got the signals correct, he should come this way. Engine was a victim of flood water and debris. All of its water and coal are gone too. Luckily, it can be repaired, but it will take some time. Okay. Uh, walk alongside the derailed engine and tender. Okay. Let's get out of here. Um, for each, hover your mouse over it and hit Shift R repeatedly to until. Wait, what? Am I reading this right? Hit Shift R repeatedly to until the wheels. I think that. I think that shouldn't be there. Until the wheels are fully back on the rails. Once the engine and tender are re they can be coupled. Okay, so I just walk up to it. The shift R. My God, I am strong. I am... <laughs> just a crowbar. That's all it takes. Just, just crowbar it back on there. Let's go. Yep. Ugh, that'll do. Amazing. Okay, well, that's that one done. <laughs> uh, couple to the wreck with your engine. Make sure your speed's below five. Okay. Um, probably should have read that, never mind. We know how to do trains. Just a couple up. Why is that wheel not... Wait a minute. That wheel wasn't turning then. And then I looked at it, and then it was... Do you want to stop now? Okay, do we mean to put the bright lines back? Glad hand. Okay. Nothing else to do, is there? No. Take it, we're going forward. Uh, take it inside, bring it back past the switch you use to access the track. Set the switch to normal, shove it back. Pass the coal and water to the engine shed. Since we aren't connected to the uh, on the wrecked line. Well, really? Let's talk about that. <laughs> the indie brake is the best choice. Inside the shed. Chain, okay. So basically take it to the shed. Let's get in here. Right. Uh, right, that's done that. I'm going to assume there's no parking brake turned on. some weird audio oh is that a gradient thing to go that way that way and then straight in there I guess I'll do <clears throat> uh, Niels thank you for 39 months been away for a while but I'm back wishing the community a belated happy new year same for you Niels Uh, 
Uh, Lawson, thank you for 10 months. Take it, we're just lining it up to the back of the shed here. Okay, that will do. Get out of there. Hey, mate, just thank you for 37. Good day to you. Crisps, thanks for 19. We still don't know what flavor they're doing. That was some quick breaking. That's basically the pump, isn't it? That's the compressor pump. Uh, you can shift click the coupler to automatically close the angle cops from decoupling. Shift click the gland hands to auto open the angle cops. Oh, yeah. Nice of the game to tell me that. Right, what does this say about this then? Uh, click the coupler, done it. Now that the record is repaired, we need, to hire a, we need to hire a shop worker to get it repaired. Wait, we need to hire a worker? Okay. Uh, Chris, thank you the bits. Good morning, people. I've always said the old Walker's barbecue rib flavor. <laughs> You're still living in the past, are you? <laughs> you get it with the times. Get like the, you know, the modern prawn cocktail or something. Let's go with that. Next. Open the company window with I or using the icon in the upper right of the screen. Okay, let's move that up there. Company window gives you visibility into all sorts of aspects of your railroad. Do you know all it needed to say was into all aspects of your railroad? There's no, there's no need for that. Switch to the locations tab and find East India, East Whittier, Whittier engine service. That's this one. This location shows you where it is and what tracks it has. Clicking on any of the map pointer icons moves the camera there. Hovering over the text will highlight those tracks. So if I click on coal loader ooh, and the track repair, ooh, and if I hover, ooh, ooh, wait, get something back there. That's actually useful because it it shows you where it considers that to be like the zone for it. Interesting. Uh, the number of shop crew and their wages. Okay, so we have in storage, no coal whatsoever. We have 4,000 gallons of diesel somewhere, wherever the diesel stand is. These were just track repairs. Shop crew, I take it we're going to hire somebody. Reputation bonus zero. Time to complete infinity. <laughs> Hire shop crew. <laughs> infinity. Brilliant. Uh, President, we have no click on the higher button. Okay, so we don't get to negotiate wages, but apparently that's $15 per day for the engineer. Time to complete one day and 10 hours. Shop crew work on a daily basis. <clears throat> so our new worker will start work on the engine at midnight. 
You can hire more if you want to get the repairs done faster. Keep in mind, the crew is still paid, even if there isn't any work to do. But hang on a minute. How much money have we got? Where's our money? Finance. $5,000. And we can take a loan. Up to 20000 Open and balance, 5 k So in theory, we could just hire somebody else. Wait, uh, wait, 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 wait. Fifteen dollars a day, it'll be done in one day and ten hours. If we hire two people at thirty dollars a day, that drops from one day and ten hours to one day and one hour. Three people drops it to twenty-two. Wow. So basically what's happening here is this is a British workforce. Because if you hire four people, it still pretty much takes the same amount of time, but three of them will stand around, point, and supervise. So I guess we'll just have one. They don't start work until midnight. Thank you for 18 months, large one. Yep, doing all right. Loot tonight, thank you for tier two. 16 months. Yeah, they probably will unionize. So they don't start work till midnight. I'll tell you what we'll do. Oh, I don't, I don't know. So, yeah, we'll, we'll have two. Let's have two. Um, right. Way bills and interchanges. Way bills tell you where a freight car needs to be delivered to. Most way bills are set by customers and you'll be paid when the car is delivered. Such way bills cannot be changed. Waybills are also used on cars that your railroad owns to order coal or diesel fuel, as well as on for captive service, which we'll cover later. Captive service? What the heck? An interchange is a designated track, usually a yard, that a railroad uses to interchange cars with another railroad. On your railroad, the yard behind the engine shed doubles as your interchange. Does it mean this? The interchange is served daily at 6 a.m. The Class 1 railroad takes delivered cars away and delivers incoming cars to your for your customers. If the interchange is ever full and there are more cars to be delivered, the Class 1 will return later in the day at an unspecified time. You can sell the caboose and get some extra money since it's not useful for anything. Is that true? Costell? Let's click next. Much of our freight work will be for our customers, but we'll also need to keep our railroad running, and fuel is a big part of that. Your coaling towers and conveyors provide coal for use by the engines, and will be up to, and it'll be up to you to order and deliver the fuel that supplies these. This is called railroad fuel service freight. You'll uh, use cars owned by your railroad for this. Fortunately, we already have a hopper spotted on the conveyor supply track near the landed loaded coal. Yeah, that one. Let's use the hopper to order some more coal. Okay. Open the inspector for the hopper car. That's control click. All right. We've got that. And switch to the Operations tab. Find the Loads to and Empties to drop down. This will configure where the car is waybilled when it is loaded and emptied. Okay, so Loads to. So that means destination to waybill this car to when it has been loaded. So when it's full of coal, go to our coal loader. When it's empty, go to... The interchange, wherever that is. There. Ah. See, that is useful. Interesting that this part of the, what I thought was the main line, unless this is the main line, in, in which case it's not a two-way track. No, it's single track. It's a single track railway, which means that is ours. Interesting. Okay. Um, 
issued a minute ago. Let's see, this, will, this will immediately set the way bill to interchange because the car is empty. When the hopper is delivered and the interchange is served, it will be loaded with coal and payment withdrawn. So, so when it's empty, the car goes to here. And then at some point at 6 a.m., do they take it away, bring it back loaded with coal? Or do we have to do that? When the hopper is delivered and the interchange is served, it will be loaded with coal and payment withdrawn. You can view costs on the East Whittier interchange panel of the company locations tab. You can view costs of the East Whittier interchange, that one. Okay. So they load it with $150 per 50 tons of coal. And how many tons does that carry? Car, equipment, no. Why is the brake line released on this thing? And how can it still have pressure in the brake line? 19 tons. Oh, it says it here. Sorry, I thought it was going to list it here under equipment and stuff, but it's, it's actually here. 19 tons, right. So we're going to get, that's actually not too bad. We're going to get charged less than about 60 or $70. <clears throat> the return way bill to East Whittier coal loader will be automatically set. All right. Viewing way bills. Let's close that. Hit tab to toggle the overlay display. Okay. So what does that tell us? An orange tag will appear above the hopper. The color indicates the east-west position of the location. Um, how? Color indicates the east-west position of the location. Hovering your mouse over the label will show another overlay indicating where the location is relative to you. 0.3 miles southeast. If the tracks are in view, you will also see the destination track highlighted. The car must be on the highlighted portion in order to be considered delivered. So is it saying that that car is 0.3 miles southeast of the track, or is it saying the track is 0.3 miles southeast of the car? It is a very silent game. There is some general background ambience, but not much. Well, that's southeast down there. So that's basically saying the track is not, it's destination, I guess. It's 0.3 miles from me. So, okay, well, let's test that theory. So if I run over here. It still says it's 0.3 miles southeast. It's lying. It's lying, isn't it? Look, that is telling you, because when you hover over that, that track highlights. So despite what it's saying here, that is showing 0.3 miles southeast to that track. The destination is what it's showing. It's not, sh it's not relative to me, even though the text says that. It says where the location is relative to you, but that's a complete lie. Yeah, but tie rope, look, look, what the, look what the information is here. It says if you hover over it, another overlay indicating that location is relative to you. Unless it means that location relative to what, hang on, let's keep going. Yeah, even that's, it's, oh, 0 0.4, there we go. Ah, right, so it's where the, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So it's where the destination is relative to me. That's fine. That makes sense now. Yeah, the sky's a bit weird. When you look where the sun is, it's really bleached out. When you look away, it looks like um, something that you might buy in a fairground on a stick. <laughs> it's certainly interesting. <laughs> If the tracks are in view, you will also see the track destination highlighted. The car must be on the highlighted portion in order to be considered delivered. You can also see waybill information by hovering over the car itself or in the inspector's operations tab. Let's move the hopper to the interchange. Start by coupling to the hopper in the fuel track behind the coaling tower. Okay, let's get rid of that. board so I guess we want to throw that wrong switch I just seen if he was awake. Well, it doesn't matter if I derail anyway, Lars, because I've got a crowbar and I'm very, very strong. Now, according to this, we've got beige, orange, orange. If I release that, okay, that's released all of them. That's fine. I like how it told me to use the glad hands this time. The agricult needs to be open for air to flow through. Oh, it does tell you, you can shift click to, to do both. Remember the angle cocks at the front and back of the train must be closed to build the pressure. Thing is, I didn't even connect the brake line, and it's not even bothered. ASC, thank you for two years. Happy anniversary. Mate, thank you for 87 months. As if Twitch just gave me the rules before I could share my reason. <laughs> what that means is, Matty, you don't have a certain cookie set in your browser to say you've read it. Hang on, where does he want us to put this? Pull the hopper from the fuel track and move it onto the lead track. Throw the switch and pull it back to the yard. If you have the tab overlay, you will see from the tag, you will see the tag dim once the car is in the destination. Stop your train. Find the handbrake wheel on the hopper. Apply it. Next, open the couplers between the hopper and your engine. Before moving your engine, make sure the close the angle cock. You can leave the angle cock and the hopper open. This allows the brake line to be empty, which applies the brakes. Now you've cut off from the hopper. Use the switches at the far end of the yard to move the uh, front of the passenger car. Okay. 
Couple your tenants to the passage car, being sure to get the bright line next to run a Right, so basically it wants us to drop this off here somewhere, and then it wants us to come back and pick up the passenger car. Okay, fine. In which case where we're going that way you're taking it to the intersection i'm taking it to here on it if i press tab i'm taking it anywhere there i'm guessing i can drop it anywhere in that highlighted zone yeah so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take it that way and then we're going to go so i'm going to go drop it here and then i'll reverse and come back down here and pick that up because this stupid thing's in the way. So, this magical coal company that fills it with coal... Oh, great. This magical coal company that fills it with coal... Does it... Does it only bring it in and out of this interchange and we're responsible for dropping it off, tipping and putting it back every time? In which case, can we hire somebody to do that? Because, you know, we've got other things to do, like eat biscuits and stuff. Wait, what? A clock on it's a class one railway company takes your car, brings it to the mine, returns it with 0 0.001 second schedule each time, each day. Right, are you actually going to throw this time? Finally. Uh, thank you, Robert Zest. Thank you for 16. Zarek, thank you for 103. Did I just start? I started just over an hour ago. I'm curious as to what... So what are you doing multiplayer in this game? How does it work? Do some of you drive the trains around? Some of you manage the logistics? Like, what do you do? Right, I'm guessing that's going to be anywhere there's fine, isn't it? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, its colour's changed. It's no longer orange. That, that overhead thing is now not orange. It's gone clear. Let's put the brakes on. While you pick up passenger wagon, you can pick up the caboose and drop it off on the track you dropped off the hopper. You can pick up the caboose and drop it off on the track you dropped off the hopper. Will it, will it not sell? Will it not just sell where it is or something? In multiplayer, I have one person at the CTC office handles signals, assuming you have that unlocked. No. And one to two players per train to handle their operation. Okay. Uh, Everest, I don't know what no means, because I don't know what the question was. <laughs> Let me uncouple that. Right, so if we let the air out and try and find the handbrake on this thing. What the? I think that's on. 
You have to actually put the caboose onto the interchange tracks. Is that not an interchange track where it's on? Why doesn't the overhead camera just keep up with you? Press zero, there we go. So the interchange tracks are that one and that one, then, not that one. That's basically our siding. That's the main, two interchange tracks, and then they're all starting. Yep, okay. Uh, a bit too fast. With 110 months, I spotted you on the TV on snooker. Did you enjoy it? Did anybody else see us on snooker? <laughs> I was on the front row. The best thing about the camera, the cameraman, I watched two sessions. On both sessions, the cameraman stood right in front of me at the start of the session and pointed the camera at me. So literally, the whole thing, when Rob Walker said, you know, welcome back to the Alley Pally, and everybody went, way, I'm there going, way, and he's literally pointing the camera at me. It's hilarious. It must have been the cat, you see. The first session was a little bit slow. There was a lot of errors going on, like John Higgins and stuff, and just um, a lot of mistakes. But the second session with Mark Selby was much better. Like, he actually knew how to pop balls. And all the while, you've got people sat behind you shoving their knees in your back. It's great. See you later, Dave. Yeah, Jimbo. There weren't any wasps in there, um, but there were um, moths. They kept getting moths landing on the table. Yeah, complimentary mini massage, that's what it was. It was the VIP tickets, obviously. Yeah, particularly the first session, they just kept getting like what, like moths landed on the table, and the ref was knocking them off. John Higgins was knocking them off. Ridiculous. No, there was no quiche. It was the uh, best salmon and caviar on Ritz crackers. No expense bad. He said go under five miles an hour when coupling. I'm not bothering with Sheffield, Jimbo. The seating is just too uncomfortable at Sheffield. That's what I'm doing, Everest. I'm shoving it here. That's why I picked it up. Like, what 
purpose does the caboose serve in this game? At all. Caboose doesn't have a purpose yet, aside from having seats for MP people to sit in. Oh, well. We'll get rid of it then. Who's the strange guy next to you with the squirrel cap? Hmm. Who could that have been? So I'm thinking that's probably in the zone, but I'm not entirely sure. Yes, it is. So we can just decouple that. You come from the hopper, use the switch to the far end. Okay. With the passenger car coupled and the brake line full. Wait, I didn't do the brake lines. One second. So, what is it? Shift click does that? I think that's all set. Um, brake lines, uh, right, release the brakes, set the reverse to forward, ring the bell, blow your whistle twice and throttle up, close the throttle as you approach the desired speed. If you're going too fast, apply a little train brake. If you're going, if you're going much too fast, apply a lot. <laughs> Genius. Follow the yard to the west, past the sawmill, and come out under, onto the main line, which leads down to Whittier. Okay. Out of here. Past the sawmill, come out onto the main line, which leads down to Whittier. Okay. Just under a mile, which is immediately after the red tower. Keep an eye on the white and black whistle signs. These are a reminder that a road crossing is ahead. Blow the whistle for a crossing. Long, long, short, long. Stop the train so that the coach is in line with the station. You can stop at either track. Once the whistle blow uh, blast signifies you've stopped. Okay. This This is going to be interesting. Let me just quickly save this. care about that don't care about that that one needs to go that way so they should be fine No idea if the signals are set. Uh, 
main line, I guess. Seems to be set correctly. Uh, main line. Were we meant to be stopping here? I guess we just want the PAX car there somewhere. Do you reckon that's right? I don't see anywhere else we're meant to go, so I think that's correct. Uh, hover your mouse over the station agent's window. If I press there, hover your mouse over the station agent's window. Oh god, what have I pressed? Console? <laughs> okay. Oh, there you go. You'll see several passengers are travelling to Ila, which is good because that's where the coach is heading. Okay. 18 to there. Control, click on the car. On the passenger tab, check the box next to Ella. This tells the passengers where this coach is heading, and the passengers from Ella will now begin boarding. Once you have enough passengers, whistle off and proceed to Ella just over two miles to the west. Ella is at mile post 59.8, Whittier at 57.5. Keep it under 30 for this first trip. We have a few words about speed limits next. <laughs> Hang on. There's no remaining passengers. All 18 are on board by the look of it. I think we're ready to go. Uh, Solid Potatus, thank you for 17 months. Thirty stretch here, mile point fifty nine. Eighteen out of sixty. Spawn over time, but don't do spawn once border is what Brent's alluded to. Interesting noise. <laughs> I think the audio needs some work. So 
basically at the end of this here is a uh, 59 marker and then shortly after that is 30. Railroad doesn't enforce speed limits. We're going to above the speed limit on curves will damage your equipment. Okay. As well as potentially cause a train to derail at excessive speeds. The tighter the curve, the lower the safe speed. Most of the train line is good for 35 miles per hour, except where noted in yellow speed signs. These signal these signs do not give you much warning, so check the map. Mainline siding switches are good for 25. Yard industrial and branch switches should be treated at 15. The main line between Witty and Elliot is good for 35, though there is one sharp curve that needs to be taken at 30, which is this one. There's mile marker 59. And there's the speed limit. I love how the speed limit is right before the actual curve itself. Like, it would have been useful back at the 59 mile marker. Here's the speed limit. You have no time to do anything about it. You should have looked. Ella has a small station that's uh, on a single track and deciding with the other tracks beyond it. A white and black S sign tells you when you're close to the station. As you arrive at Ella, stop with your coach aligned to the station. Your passengers will automatically begin to disembark once the train is fully stopped. Open the inspector passenger panel on the coach and check Whittier but leave the Ella box checked. It will be unchecked automatically when they've all disembarked. Gotcha. S for station. Which side is it? Which side is the pack station on? Do we have to reverse into here? Or is it like here? Or do we have to punt over them? What the heck is it? That's a platform. I love this. They put the station building on the main line. So basically, when you stop for passengers, you block the main line. I'm going to guess maybe that's correct. Yep, they seem to be deboarding. So if I control click that and then I click. Oh, what did it say? Open the passenger panel and check Whittier, but leave Ella. Surely, does it mean this one? Whittier Depot? You received $18 for 18 $1! $1! Per passenger? Wow. That's not very lucrative, is it? $18 doesn't even pay for the water? Like, what the heck? Once the passengers disembark, you'll be paid $1 each. A message in the upper left announces this. The console is accessible via the buttons in the upper right corner, or just by pressing the tilde key. Passenger service isn't particularly profitable especially for short distances like this, but longer distances pay better. Plus, providing daily passenger service will increase your railroad's reputation. We don't care about rep, we just care about the money. If you want work that pays well, you'll need to run freight. When we let passengers load here at Ella, let's consider our freight options. Contract and compulsory. Here at Ella, there are two different types of freight customers. Ella House Track, which sounds like a record label, is compulsory freight service. Compulsory freight is part of your railroad's basic presence in the towns it passes through and serves customers in the area that don't have their own siding. 
Over the next few days, you will begin to receive such cars for Ella and Whittier house tracks. Other examples of freight houses and team tracks. You what? <laughs> Ella Farm Supply is an example of a contract service, which is now how most customers operate. Contracts are available at different tiers. Higher tiers bring in more traffic and at the upper tiers rewards. Cars for these types of freight are owned by other railroads. The way bills are assigned automatically and cannot be changed. Notes that cars delivered in poor condition pay less. Okay. Prospective customers. Open the company window and change the locations tab. Find the Ella house track. Uh, listed under Ella station. Okay. Next, find the Ella Farm Supply. The location panels show the tracks for location and contract details if applicable. No contract exchange, tier one, tomorrow, tier one. Okay. You can click on the location icon next to each track to zoom to the over camera to check out Ella Farm Supply. Yeah, that's that one. And the Whittier Stenzel Manufacturing and Holyfield Heating Oil. Wait, what? Check out the Ella Farm Supply in Whittier. Stenzel Manufacturing and Holyfield Heating. What's that? Unless it means one of these. Whittier Depot, Whittier House Track. I, d I don't see these. I don't see this. Where is this? Am I missing something? Oh, it's Stenzel. It's all about this. It's not under the Whittier thing. Stenzel Manufacturing Holyfield Heating Oil. Right, right, right. I thought it was under here. Right, okay. Mr. Sarden, thank you for 29 months. Welcome back. Thank you. Mr. Sonex, thank you for 59 months. Mysco Clang, thanks for 15. Which of these customers look appealing to you? Some customers have track layouts that make them more challenging to serve. So hang on. So the heating oil, the heating oil pickup is here, which is at Hollyfield. And Hollyfield on the map. Well, that's, that's pretty easy. Apart from it's northbound only. Like, you have to either reversing or pull it out or something. Okay. And then Stanza Manufacturing is here. Which is that one there. Right, so that, that was... That one is there. The heating oil is there and the manufacturing is here. That is a sharp bit of track, that is. Blimey. I mean, they're both doable. Any of these would be a great first contact to take, but save Whittier Sawmill for later once you've learned about captive service cars. What does that mean? Captive service cars. Okay, so the sawmill is over here. Blimey. That's a lot of cars right there. Just captive service implies we use their cars to do it. Therefore, you don't want to wreck them. That's where we were at the start. This is the um, SO1, SO2 sawmill. And that is just outside. Yeah. 
So you bring it out to here. There's only one reason to not accept Ella Farm, Stenzel and Holyfield this end game day, and that's waiting for the reputation bonus to instantly go to tier three. Capture service uses your cars. Compulsory contract uses their cars. So whose are all these cars? Oh, they're ours. Wait, what? We've been given a whole lot of cars. Fine. Take two or three contracts. What? For each customer, click the established contract drop down tier one. Contract changes occur at midnight, so you can change your mind freely until then. You take as many or as few contracts as you like, but keep in mind there is a penalty for lowering or terminating a contract, particularly if you recently established. What does recently mean? A day? A week? The tiers that had available to you depend on your past performance for that customer, as well as your railroad's reputation. As long as you keep the customer happy by delivering their cars in a timely manner, you'll be able to choose the higher tier after a couple of days. Next, let's get passengers back to Whittier. Right, so it basically wants me to take a contract for something, but not the sawmill. Right, so I think we can establish a heating oil contract and a manufacturing contract. We'll give those two a go and see what happens. Let's try that. Right, let's get this thing back to Whittier. Before you return to Whittier, you want to run around the passenger car. A run around is railroad lingo for moving the engine from one end of the train to the other using a passing track, thus running around it. Pull past the first switch in Ella, uncouple from the coach. Pull past the first switch in Ella, uncouple from the coach, and use the siding to run around the other side of the coach. Okay. Couple onto the coach and connect the brake line. While you're near the Ella station building, click on the agent window. Notice there are two tabs, passenger and freight. The freight side shows you what cars are in the area. Let me out of this stupid thing. God's sake. Passengers and freight. Freight side shows what cars in the area of unfilled way bills, including those on your train. By creating and joining a train crew, you can manage a switch list to help you keep track of your work. Creating and joining a train crew. This topic is outside the scope of this tutorial, however. That's, that sentence is the wrong way around. It should say, however, this topic is outside the scope of the tutorial. When you're ready, whistle off and let's head back to Whittier. Lean out of the window to get a better view or use the overhead camera. Okay. Let's go. I mean, I reckon we could just reverse all the way there, but uh, I'll do what it tells me. RB School, thank you for 46 months. Slump, thank you for 60. Crouch down in this game. There's no crouch, but there's things that you need to crouch to do. Interesting. Uh, Bodder, thank you for two years, mate. 
24 months uh, took almost I took following for almost nine years but only can I but only can did I finally reach two years subbed thanks to amazing memories and I forget uh, the help you guys have been thanks Potter thank you two years Baz how you doing 102 months nice looking game if only had something better than Steam Locos <laughs> where's Chris Steam he'd, he'd be really happy right now it is multiplayer though Baz so there is that Audio's a bit dodgy. Where's your VIP badge? That's a very good question, Baz. Very good question. Mods, can you post in the memos for me and I'll have a look at that. Did you have it before or has it just been neglected? You had it before. That's interesting. There's two people saying you had it before. I'll have a look at it, guys. Well, if he had it and he's lost it, I don't know how. I'm trying to force yourself to get out of bed. I didn't get it, Baz, because uh, if you didn't click on your resub button, I would have forgot to do it. As you return to Witty, make your station stop and cut off from the coach. We'll leave it here in the station for morning tomorrow. Make your station stop and cut off from the coach. Okay, just leave it in the siding, I guess. Pull ahead to the water tower and top off your water. Not bad for the first day. The company's window settings under time click sleep. This will let time pass during which customers and repairs all the way through the hours through your trains won't move any faster during the time shortly after six you will see a notification that the east whittier interchange has been served proceed to the interchange that's the yard behind us and see what cars await use tab or the inspector to see their destinations okay the first priority should be putting the coal hopper in place behind the coal conveyor after that you'll want to deliver your customers cars and take the passenger with you to ever a regularly mixed train daily. Okay. Hey Joseph, I don't know, I'm just trying to get my head around it. Uh, Bar Pro, thank you for 31 months. Good afternoon to you.
Right, speed limit's good now. That's quick enough. I think we must be going uphill slightly. Chris 94, thank you for gifting 10 subs. Welcome guys. Thank you, Chris. Just got a sub, but he did my thank you. Yeah, he was... He was away for a while, pups. Players similar to Rivals Online. No, not in the slightest. It does indeed have turnarounds, yeah. I've not seen turntables yet in this. Let's get our eleven dollar payout or whatever it is. Twenty two packs now departing. Turn tables at Brighton, Dillsborough, and Andrews, none of which are places he's unlocked. No. I presume when that gets to zero, we get a little pop up payout here. Okay. There it is. Twenty-two dollars for twenty-two fares. Also, has it put the lights on inside the car? Or was that some weird sunshine effect? Oh, that's my... No, that's my lantern. 
That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. I would I would have put it on full beam. I don't know. Right, let's pull this to the siding then. Um, oh, we've got to take it back to the depot, don't we? Did it say to go all the way back? Or do we leave it here? Where's your arrival? It said get some water, so we'll get some water. I think we're meant to leave it here, aren't we? Don't leave the wagon here. It'll be in the way here in the morning. It said leave it at the station. What? This station? I should return to Whittier, make a station stop and cut off from the coach. We'll leave it here in the station for tomorrow morning. It literally says leave it at the station. So that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, that's fine, but uh, pups. You chuck it and memos will sort it out later. Now, strictly speaking, you should put that on. I'll do it anyway. Okay, so it wants us to go back now, does it? Or do we just sleep here? I guess we just sleep here, don't we? Well, tie rope, if you model it correctly, the brake pressure should bleed out of that, and then the whole car should start to roll if it's on a hill. That's what should happen. But I don't know if they modeled that. Uh, right, company window, settings time, time of day. Time multiplier. Interesting. Six AM at the Big Brother house. Paid a hundred and fifty dollars for what? What was that? Reputation has changed from zero percent to a hundred and ten percent. Wait, what? How can it go to a hundred and ten percent? It's beyond maximum. I don't understand. <laughs> what does that mean? East Whittier Interchange received two cars. I love our lights stayed on all night. That's brilliant. 150 dollars. Yeah, I know, Captain Flynn. We paid 150 dollars for one car of coal. It said that the price of coal. Where did I see it now? Uh, the price of coal is 150 dollars per 50 ton coal car. Oh, unless it meant that the car weighed 19 tons. If that was the tire weight, maybe the car is 19 tons, and we, but it takes 50 tons of coal for a total of 69 tons. 
It, could, it might, maybe it meant that. I'll have to look at it next time. Because it said 19 tons, didn't it? But that wasn't its capacity. I think that was, was its tail weight. Um, right, see what cars are white. Press tab to see their destinations. Proceed to the East Whittier interchange. That's the yard just behind the engine shed. Ah. So I need to be back here. Do I? It doesn't tell me what cars are on that track, though. Yeah, we need to go back. We shouldn't be here at this point. I think the map should show cars as well, personally. Okay, that's what the caboose should be used for, like the Red Valley. I, I, you could argue it either way, but what is the point in an overhead map showing locals but not cars? Yes, she can derail. I literally can't see how these points are set. I didn't set the caboose to sell. Ah, oh. no, it's now in the way. That's annoying. Operations, equipment, repair, sell. Let's give it a. Come back, we can have had some more money. Sam Blackshaw, thank you for 76 months. So that needs to go to the manufacturing. That needs to go to the heating oil place. And this we need to push into the coal dropper, I think. Better deal with this on its own. I'm getting the feeling we're almost at the end of the tutorial, maybe. And then it's going to be like, what was that other game I played where the tutorial just didn't tell you not even 10% of what you need to know? Like, here's some basic stuff. Enjoy! Is that the cola? Yep. 
Yeah, I think it was Aquatico. Yeah, Aquatico was, was just terrible like that. Yeah, 50 tons of coal, it's like. Yeah, look, 69 tons. So it tells you basically what it weighs. 19 tons empty, 69 tons full. So that's basically its current weight. One thing that boggles your mind is it doesn't tell you about your log cars before day two. That's the whole day of freight income missed. Does it tell you afterwards, though? Like, does it tell you at all? Go again. The oh god. It's like a massive zigzag to get it over there. Kenko! How you doing, sir? Thank you for 73 months. How was the snooker? <laughs> Did you see us on TV? Um yeah, first session was a bit slow. Second session was great. Got a free back massage all the way through the whole thing, courtesy of some woman's knees in a pink outfit. Um, water was £2.60. Wouldn't give you a bottle. Had to be served in a cardboard cup. And I kept saying to them, but that means if I'm sat with that at my seat, I could easily knock that over and spill it. Why can't I just have the bottle? To which the response of, do you find yourself spilling things frequently? I'm like, well, not usually, but accidents happen, don't they? I'm sorry, we can't serve a bottle. That's for grown-ups. Honestly stupid. Yeah, and then people took bottles in anyway because, and this is where it gets weird, they won't sell you a bottle of water, but you can bring a bottle of water in and go inside. So they don't stop you from bringing bottles of water in, but they won't sell you a bottle of water. It has to be in a cardboard cup with no lid. It's genuinely like, makes no sense. Bye, Mike. Thank you for 33 months. I will get the doggos on at some point soon. Bye, Mike. Yes. Yeah, no food allowed, but somebody was sat with a Subway sandwich right next to us. It, it's just... It, it is what it is.
I don't like this game by Mike. I don't, I don't know. I'm still trying to wrap my head around it at the moment. And that'll do. It's not actually told me how to do this. I'm, I'm assuming we just get out and assuming we can get out of this stupid train. Oh my god, let me out. Do we just click on that and tell it to unload? Operations, equipment. Literally doesn't tell you how to load this. Coal chute lower. No. Coal conveyor two tons. Hatch. Guessing it's not quite in the right place. Wait, did it auto unload? No, it didn't auto. When it's delivered, it'll unload the coal. The game doesn't tell you this at all. The conveyor only holds two tons. Right, okay. So when I go to load on coal, it will automatically fill that up if I just leave it. Is that what you're saying? Fine. Thanks for the tutorial for explaining that one. I mean, you know, it's, I can imagine how many people have played this game, sat there trying to get that to unload. <laughs> like, why won't it unload? Wiggle those hatches a lot. on the doors of the box cars are not cosmetic. If you leave the doors closed when spotting a car it takes weeks to unload. Wait, are you saying that I should leave those hatch doors open now? Because that way are you are you just saying the box cars need to be open but they are okay as they are? Hatches don't matter at all. Hmm. Mad Dog, thank you for almost four years. Eli farm supply is very slow at loading. I need to go all the way back and get on this line now.
So the game hasn't taught me very much. It's taught me how to hire somebody to work at the at the repair center. But it's not told me what kinds of people I can hire. Like what AI can you can you hire an AI driver? Can I get them to run this? Will they coordinate with me on the single track line? Yeah, I don't know, Captain Flint. Bandit, please don't say yes, because I just asked about three questions and I don't know which one you're answering. <laughs> the only people you can hire are engineers. All locomotives come with AI modes and their control click menu. AI modes? Wait, so these steam trains had AI in them way before 2023's AI hype year. Is that what you're saying? They had built-in AI. Let's call them NPC firemen. Oh, yeah, Baz. <laughs> now, did that couple of both of them? Wait, that was already pre-coupled. Interesting. Uh, release. Use AI for other locomotives. Send log cars to pick up at point. Um, I don't feel confident doing that right this very second. And besides, I kind of want to run the first logs myself. Right, so this... If I press tab... It's going to show me 0.8 miles to the north, 1 mile to the north. Okay. That was the farm one, wasn't it? Are you saying that when I get there, I should open the boxcar door? Testing the doors drastically speeds unloading. We'll try it.
Andy Lamb, thank you for 21 months. Relaxing week off. <laughs> the first week was very busy. This week I've been watching snooker and stuff. Had a complete Windows reinstall last week. That was fun. Yeah, I'm on Windows 11 now. Finally bit the bullet. Alright, I need to work out. Where the heck we're going? So we'll drop that one there. Oh, that is annoying. You scumbag game. So this second one wants to go there. If that had been there, that would have been an easy drop. Now I've got to basically loop around. So I've got to put these two here, go around the back of it, grab hold of them and push them back. Push that one into here. No, I can't do that either. Nope, they're literally they're just the wrong way around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one, I think. I'm going to grab hold of this one. Leave that one there. We'll drop this one off first. <laughs> Rolling to railroad is seventy-five percent. It's a switching puzzle. Good to know. Minus thirty-five. What Celsius? That doesn't exist, does it? The worst part about this is you just can't see where these things are going to take you. Yeah, but I don't think he lives in Yakuts, does he, Mechanic? Next week you'll have plus 35 Celsius. Nice. I'd like to say, I don't know, Baz, I have mixed feelings because it's 35 and really humid, isn't it? Nah, minus 35 doesn't exist. There's no such thing as minus 35 Celsius. My thermometer only goes down to minus 10. Beyond that, there are no temperatures. They're not allowed here. When it gets around to minus 10, it wraps around to plus 40, you see. That's what happens. I'm assuming we don't need to do anything else to that. It'll just automatically do its own thing. If you shift click, it could possibly be control shift click on the coupler while in third person, it should auto disconnect the coupler. I have been shift clicking. I've been shift clicking on the on the lines and it basically automatically changes the angle call. But I'll try the coupler and see what it does. Plus 41 in Perth. Ooh. Yeah, but Perth, like, 
my wife's um, new newer woman still does who she's been around the world quite a bit lived in many places and one of the places she lived in was in perth and she loved it there but she's a sun god like she loves sunbathing and perth is just always hot and sunny it's a ridiculous place but if you love the sun it's the place to be I'm going to have to pull this out and then get around the back of it. This is annoying. I'm going to have to drop it there, then come back and get around the back and push it over here. Yeah, exactly. It's not it's not a humid heat, which is better. Even so, that sun is really strong. Thoughts on GTA 6 trailer. I mean, it, it's hard to say, isn't it? It looks cool. It just looks like GTA. A bit more polished. At the moment, I'm not seeing anything groundbreaking. Like, if they turn around and say, the city is four times the size, or if they turn around and say, all the AI are sorry. All the all the all the characters that you can run into are all you know AI driven, so they'll just react. That's what I'm expecting from them, to be honest. That kind of thing, but you can't see that from the trailer yet. When are you back, Baz? Is it February? I don't think it's going to be that much warmer when you get back. Yeah, I mean, February is still winter, really. Be a bit brighter, but it'll still be cold. <laughs> yeah, see, doing the coupler still doesn't do that, does it? Fifty dollars from. It wouldn't surprise me, no Rockstar. Nothing does. It also wouldn't surprise me if you had to pay a subscription to use online services. Tim Man, thank you for thirty-seven months. It's always been about the money mechanic.
I think there will be an online subscription element to a GTA 6. Absolutely. They want that regular income. Maybe they'll let you do, like, free multiplayer, but if you want to do the RP stuff, that'll be, like, a subscription or something. Coops, thank you. Right, that's them two done. I don't know when we get paid. Uh, right, sweating and I happen to have the railroad back, and when you're ready, the communities to the west will welcome you with the business. How much is expanding to you? Several bridges were destroyed by the flooding. Repairing them will take money to purchase materials and railroad to move the materials to the repair sites. In the company window, open the milestones tab and select the first milestone, Repair Ela Bridge. Each milestone has several phases. When you're ready to for more railroad, pay for the available phase and materials will be delivered to the interchange next day. Right, okay. Once those materials are delivered to the site, the next phase will be available. Most milestones expand the reach of your railroad, but some bring exciting technologies to the line. How you expand is up to you. Other ways to grow. Perhaps you'd like to look into adding more power to your railroad. Shift T opens the equipment purchase window. New equipment is delivered to the interchange. To sell equipment on by your railroad, use the inspector's equipment tab to sell destination to it. This will create a way bill to the interchange. Uh, you will receive the sell price when the interchange is served. Note that equipment condition figures heavily on the sell price. Okay. Finally, you have the option to take out a loan in the finance tab. Your maximum loan is based on the value of the railroad's equipment. Interest payments are 10% and due every five days. Oh, my God. 10%. You can pay down the loan any time. Do you need coal? I doubt it. It takes a long time to go through a tender like that. Onward. Now you have the tools you need to get running. Be swift. With your setouts and pickups, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's it. Tutorial is over. What's all these tabs then? Console. Switch list. What the heck is that? None of that's been explained. Automotive works. Select the catalog. Okay. Six thousand two hundred. Curve radius L S X S. <laughs> References. Employee timetable. What the heck? AI engineers. Road mode. The AI engineer is given a maximum speed. It will operate forward and backward as close to that speed until it reaches a reason to stop. This works best for sending trains a distance of several miles where you have set switches for it to advance, optionally placing a fusee to stop it. Wait, so if you have an AI driving the, driving the train, you have to do all the switches for it? Oh, my God. Rusty Skills, thank you for 20 months. Bigfoot, thank you for 77. 77 is what is the smallest positive integer requiring five syllables. Okay. Uh, I haven't, Buzz. Elsa Sogol Lantern. 
F1 employee timetable. You can say like wait one to pass one hour in the console. Slash weather to change the weather. Look at this money cheat amount. You can literally cheat yourself money. Oh, sandbox host only. <laughs> Fair enough. Multiplayer. Save games in railroad may be used for both single and multiplayer. If you create a save in single player, you can quit the game and host a multiplayer session with the same save. Railroad's access controls give you the tools to run an organized railroad as you like. Multiplayer settings. Players who are, have a record are not banned can always connect. They do not need to use a password. <laughs> what? New employees allow on. Players who do not have an employee record can connect. If off, new players will not be able to connect. Password. Right, so you can password the session. New players were prompted to enter the password before connecting. Role. Role privileges. Band, connect, connect. Crew. Operate all equipment, engines, couplers, glad hands, set passenger car destinations, place fuses. Dispatcher. Operate the CTC panel. Where is this? Where is the CTC panel? If you've connected to a save game once, no matter if the password has changed, you can connect. What? Train master. Set automatic waybills, repair destinations, officer, president, remove employee records. <laughs> Wait, so you can at least remove that person completely. As if they've never been in the game, I guess. Sit in the president's chair. <laughs> What's this? The host is always president. Multiple employees can be president, officer, etc. Okay. Um... One sec. Let me go and check the how many packs were available. I don't know how much we're going to get paid for those jobs we just did. There are 30 passengers waiting, but it doesn't tell me. Yes, it does. They want to go back to Ela Station. So that's $30 to take them up to Ela. So the problem is, the the available line right now is quite small, so PAX runs don't seem to make much sense. Maybe I should go back and have a look at that log thing, although I don't know how it works. The jobs are already paid out. Payments of delivery to heating oil, $65. Payments of delivery to the $65. Does that mean they've already unloaded then? Seven thousand nine hundred and seventy nine gallons of oil. So there's no way bill for this car yet to go back. The unloading now, when empty, will require moving back to the interchange for another payment. And and if I don't do that, who does it? Like, it will create a way bill to take it to the interchange, but if I don't deliver it, does the AI just do it? Nobody. If it's not done, within three days, you start getting a reputation... Is that because I signed a contract? Is that because we have a contract with them? Contract, can't change contract, tier one, no change. Okay. So I've signed a contract with them. I've signed a contract with them. What about the sawmill? 
tier one. What would that involve? You see, it, it mentions something about a... CTC panel is the central control of switches in dispatch. You can use the console to teleport or actually walk there. In multiplayer, it's common for one or two people to run the CTC. It was on about containment contracts or something, but it never actually explained what they are. <clears throat> there was nothing in the tutorial, and it said something about the sawmill was a containment contract. If I put that on tier one... I'll get some job tomorrow, presumably. Equipment. Employees. Oh, nice. Got a, fi a finance breakdown here. Wait a minute. I started with five grand, and I'm now 4,990. So I've done a lot of work, and I'm $10 do $10 down. <laughs> okay great couple of days milestones repair the bridge start the first phase $750 did you start full of coal because $150 no no the, I do have $150 worth of coal I need to bring the log cars to the Connolly track for loading yeah I don't have a job yet it needs to tell me that but it mentioned I could start this, though. Phase one. Deliver 13 cars to Ila Bridge site. These cars will be delivered to the interchange the next time the interchange is served. So I'm going to start that. Cars ordered, waiting for delivery. I don't know when they're going to turn up, though. you get some waggers to be loaded at the sawmill. Are they going to turn up today? Is any of that going to turn up today, or is that it? We might as well do the passenger run, if that's the case. Tomorrow at 6. All right. In that case, we might as well pull this. Um, I'll get some money. Yeah, the cloud graphics are a bit odd. Uh, Peter Bell, thank you for 81 months. Watching a ton of squirrel plus. Um, you've been home with a broken leg. You're welcome, sir. The way captive contracts work is that each day you have to deliver X cars of product, logs or pulpwood, to an industry, which then uses that stuff to create goods for you to bring to the interchange. They'll order empty cars to be delivered for their output trucks too. 
But didn't, didn't it say that they have to be your cars, so you have to buy the cars yourself? Is that right? A lot of cars are ours, yeah, they were gifted to us. Is that all we need, though? Cheeky Snow, I think the, um, I think the simulation of the steam engine is rudimentary. So they just double check 30 packs to Ela. So if we control click on this and say, why do we do it? I've forgotten where we do it already. Do we do it on that? There we go. Right, it's loading. When it was the 30. Wait, we've now got 33. We had 30 packs in the station and now we've got 33 in the car. Hmm. I think we've got three stowaways. It's a completely different game, Jugger. It's railroading, but focusing on a different aspect of it. It's less about driving and more about running the railroad. See what speed we can get out of this. Almost up to 40. Woo! Forty-one, forty-two. <laughs> so best back off. We're doing forty-three, going downhill, I think. And there's a speed limit coming up. Squeaky, squeaky. I think it's miles per hour, Buzz. 
let's put it this way, Baz. It, it's set, I think, in Southeast America in 1800s, probably. Late, oh, sorry. Yeah, probably late 1800s, I guess. So everything's going to be US Imperial gallons, US Imperial miles per hour, everything. That's true, you can get diesel. You've watched a lot of squirrel stuff, man. <laughs> They want to go to Whittier Depot. We might as well take them back. So if we control click on that, set that as a destination. I think what it said is it will clear that down. I don't know when they start loading. I presume that will empty and then that will start going in there and that will clear down. Immersion, Tyro. <laughs> Okay, it cleared it down, now it's loading. Nice. $33. Ooh. I think that barely covers your fuel charges, yet alone wear and tear to the locomotive. Okay. All aboard. I'm just going to reverse it back. Yeah, I don't know how much diesel is relative to how, we, how quickly you consume it. I 
think we started off with about four tons of coal. So we've used 1.3 tons, roughly. And 50 tons cost $150. Yeah, it's not a lot. As long as you don't damage the train and locomotive, you can probably make money. But if you damage stuff, the repair costs are going to be quite a bit. Which reminds me, I think we still have two employees working down at the Indian service bay. Time to complete two hours. So that train is still not ready. dollars a day is quite an overhead that's literally the entire profit for this run I think Boeing it was based on an IRL track I don't know that. be set correctly. Never heard of Shadows of Doubt. I don't know what it is. Seven thousand nine hundred gallons left. Of it. There's 12 packs to go back. Hang on a minute. Can't you just have an AI shuttling this train? Taking people that need to go from A to B all day long. I'm not really using that piece of track. I could just leave an AI doing it. It's a completely pre-central generated world where you're a private investigator and you have to solve murders. Every person in the city has a routine. When the game selects them as a murderer, they have to get the weapon first so you can track sail logs and stuff. Right, okay. AI passenger shuttle is very viable. Okay. How do I set it up then? I know I don't have another loco, but in two hours' time, I will have another loco. So I could leave the AI on engine number two. But how do I set it up so that this thing 
is perpetually... But hang on, what will the AI do about coal and water? Or can it, do you just tell him to do it all day and that's it? Like at some point he's going to run out. Equipment, operations, train crew, none. Orders, manual, road, or yard. No, 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 no. <laughs> Don't you... <laughs> AI just run the train. You need to fill it. Okay. You can set fuses in the track with control F. This marks them to stop. When you control click the loco on the last tab, you can set them to the road in the correct direction. Right. Control F. Doesn't do anything. Do I need to do it here? Control F there. Cursor on the track you want to view. So do I do I basically look at the pack stop here and control F there, or do I control F where the loco should stop? So if I if I control F here, will it will it drop the loco there? Like that. Control F where the end of the train needs to be. Okay, how do I delete that? Extinguish. With the end of the train, right, okay. So if I say control F here, yeah. AI trains won't let any part of the train over a few Z, right. Is it gonna reverse back here or will it come here forward? I don't know. So if I go up to Ella, control T. Then there's Ella. So it comes in. There's a car. There's a tender. Loco's probably about here ish. In its current orientation, it'll be forced to Ella and reverse to Witty when you set its road to mode. Yeah. Okay. So I've completely guessed how long that is. It's probably a bit more, to be honest. Maybe like here. I should do it. Right, so having set those two. Okay. So having set those two, you were saying go into here. And then, how do I, operations, the game doesn't teach you anything here. How do I set the fusee for it now? Orders. Will it, will it just drive? Hang on, I don't want to do that. They're basically red signals, right? But I presumably, how do you tell it to stop and pick up passengers though? Like what's to stop it just arriving here and then driving off? Cause I need to, I need to say that, that this is going to both stations, right? And then let it needs to wait and load the passengers and then drive away. I don't want it to change direction. I just want it to drive there and back. Because the issue is when it, when it gets there and drops off, it'll just clear that flag down so that it will never be permanently set. And that's the bit I'm not understanding is how you can tell this thing
You manually have to tell it to come back. Oh, wow. Okay. Right. Fine. So you basically say, do that. It then loads. So it's not going to wait for anybody, is it? Hmm. So it's basically semi-automated. <laughs> There's still a lot to do. Right, so that's all 23 loaded. So if I now control click that, and just say road forward, 30 miles an hour. Passengers supposed to get on board this thing. Oh, it won't ever go over tracks. It says track speed is 35. So when it gets to that 30 stretch, it will automatically slow down. There it is. Been promoted to conductor. <laughs> Where did you say this um, console was at? This CTC thing. Where's that located? Bryson, the next passenger station westbound. So we have to fix all of that first, right? Whoa, hello. I'm liking the look of Bryson. It's not there yet. I thought it was. Blizzard, people were saying in chat that in multiplayer, one player generally goes into the CTC. It's here. It's coming. I can hear it. A CTC officers a milestone on lock after the Ella Bridge. I want to see it slow down. Wait, can I run faster than the train? One second, let me race it. Right, go. <laughs> Man, I can run at like 35 miles per hour. Yeah, it's doing 33 and I'm going quicker. In fact, I can run backwards at 35 miles per hour. What 
what I want to know is why does the Olympics not have a backwards sprinting race or <laughs> even a backwards hurdle race that'd be hilarious <laughs> thank you Captain Flint backwards sprinting at the Olympics that'd be fantastic Let's see if we guess the fusey correctly now. What's at the um well, we got nineteen packs waiting. A backwards marathon. Even like a backwards thousand meters would be tough. Oh my god, it's like overkilling the speed. Look at this. It's like health and safety went mad here. Unloading. Nice looking modeling. Like the trains itself are quite nice. Our gigs, thank you, twenty five months. $23. Right, engine service, time to complete two hours, blimey. I've not derailed. I think that's all 19. Yep. I take it if you sit here. This is probably spawning packs, yeah, slowly. So as you, if you basically sit here, I reckon if we sleep for an hour, that will be loaded up with more packs and we get closer to the two-hour loco time. I did see it somewhere. How did we sleep for an hour? Settings. Wait one hour. So if we do that. Okay. Yeah, there you go. It's 21 passengers waiting. More efficient delivery. Hmm. We can use weight 0.5. That's not too bad because it means if you forget, the AI is going to sit here, but the train will carry on loading. So at least you can haul them all back and get paid. So I reckon if you wait like another hour, let's try that. Slash wait one. Command not recognize. Okay. Let's try lowercase. Wow, it's case sensitive. 20 more packs. Nice. Uh, Daddy Ali, thank you for uh, double top 40 months. Okay, we can't take everybody now. So now we basically say reverse. And then we get paid $60. I don't know if they do, Glow Pepper. We have no way of viewing what the passengers think. And you'd hope that back down here, more packs have spawned here as well. There's 24 there. Thirty four point eight tons of metal. I can't remember what it started on. That's unloading really slowly.
There's no signage on it whatsoever. I've no idea what the capacity is. Oh, you can see pizza names. Nice. So you can go like... Cool. That's helpful. So if I now wait 0 0.2, wait a minute, that train, look where that train is, right? If I wait 0 0.1, so wait six minutes and that train hasn't even moved. Waiting does not influence the game world only the time of day. Scumbag game. But weirdly enough, it did influence the packs waiting because when I jumped forward an hour, there were more passengers. So it must affect industry. This looks like a very unsafe bridge to me. Like, what is this? What, what is this bridge? <laughs> you can't even get back on it. It's like waiting for a train, this. I think we'll get paid for this and then skip till tomorrow and take the uh, freight stuff. Actually, is that locomotive ready? So... By the luck of it, they've finished. But I kind of need to fire some people. But if I fire them, I think we lose reputation. Because we only just hired them. I don't know when we're going to need them next. I think the game punishes you if you hire and fire people. Let's put it that way. You might want to do a log run and get a sawmill contract today. I didn't think we could do anything. Well, the sawmill contract is set for tomorrow. I don't know how we can do a log run. Like, what can I do today when it says that is tomorrow? The AI is so by the book. Aren't the wagons in the drop ready for tomorrow morning? I don't know where they need to go. If you go to your log cars, you can set their waybill to pick up logs from Connolly Creek. Oh my god, they got off the train slowly. Just going to have a look at this. Train number one. Okay, what have you got in the back? No coal and no water. 
Right, so how am I supposed to refill this with coal and water? I've got to go and bring that local down here and drag it over there. That sucks. <laughs> Can't they just come down here and shove a bit in the back just to get it going? How do they fill the very first locomotive? <laughs> it is literally like using the APU, except we don't have an APU. I very much doubt we can push this. $60. Train break zero, indie break zero. Why am I carrying my lantern? Yeah, look, see, I'm trying to push and not a lot's happening. Right, so basically, I now have to bring the other locomotive down here just so I can refuel that one. Do you reckon Shift R would push it? Because I think Shift R just re-rails it, doesn't it? Surely that doesn't push. Shift out is nothing. Hang on. We're getting there. <laughs> Shift our spam. <laughs> I don't know if any of the signals are set correctly. That's the problem. I kind of set my points. I've got to stop pushing to do that. Look, because if I stop pushing, it will just stop. Okay, that's set. Uh, they're all fine. This is probably just as quick as actually bringing the other locomotive down. Uh, Bob, thank you for 45 months. Mr. Kayla, thank you for 29. Yep, it keeps momentum from if you keep spamming shift R you can you can keep the momentum. I mean it's not exactly quick, is it? But at a pinch it's doable. Well, yeah, because if we pushed our passengers around like this, think of the profit. We wouldn't be charged any coal. No wear and tear on the locomotive. And we could do maybe one every three days. <laughs> yeah, that's that's going to take a long time. I ain't doing that. My train, stupid AI. Oh, no. 
I hate how far you have to go just to turn around. Like, would it have killed him to just put a slip track in here? You gotta go all the way down there just to come all the way back that way. I am raging. <laughs> ah, I'm just gonna leave it, Buzz. It's fine. No, I don't think you can do any track editing in this game. I could be wrong, but I don't think it's that kind of game. Yeah, I didn't spot do it on the way past. I didn't know if that would work without the um, without the loco being present. And the vanquish. Thank you for ninety-one months. you can just set that car to be yes this this train is going to ella even though there's no loco attached to it and all the passengers get on oh i'm sure the loco will turn up soon yeah I might just leave the locomotive at the back of the of the passenger car because it's actually much easier to detach and do stuff with the loco and just push the car there. It doesn't matter. AI doesn't care anyway. on I will need to change the fuses yeah absolutely This is going to take quite a lot of coal from that hopper. Might as well actually fill mine up while we're here.
Yeah, it's quite a thirsty train, isn't it? At least the water's free. Wait a minute, is that like a thousand gallons it's gone through? Wow, that was a thousand gallons. It's supposed to tell you somewhere. There it is, 1.5 tons. Yeah, so it's it's basically keeping it at two tons, so it must be depleting that. Yeah, there you go, 47.3. So it basically is on demand. You just park that there, and then it buffers some of it. Wait, so when they gave us this, it wasn't even fully loaded on coal. What scumbag? Because <laughs> it started on about 3.8 or something, 3.9. When we put coal and water in this other locomotive, is there like a startup sequence we need to go through? Is that not aligned? Is that what you're saying? Wrong pixel. So basically, when it's full of coal and water, it'll just start itself. Okay. Yeah, kilos go. It's lovely. No, no starting up the fire baths. No warming up the boiler. None of that. So this is a ten wheeler, and that's the mogul. That's that one. 21,900 pounds of tractive effort. Wait a minute, is it the right one? This is the T17 10 wheeler, and that's the G16 mogul. That's that one versus that one. These are the two we have. So the 10 wheeler has a bit more tractive effort, but it has half the capacity of coal. What is this? Three tons of coal versus six tons of coal. That's crazy. Like the stats are almost the same, yet it has half the run duration. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, number one can do the packs run. Number two can do the freight runs. Like, the mogul's way better. Like, three tons of coal 
or rather three, yeah, versus six tons of coal is ridiculous. We need to sell this ASAP and replace it with a mogul. Does it tell us how much they cost somewhere? No, we'll put number one on packs. The short run train. It's only going to go from Ella to Whittier Witt or whatever. Sell value 5,100. 4,000. So this mogul is worth less money but goes twice as far on a load of coal. How? Shift T is the buy menu. So we could buy a new mogul for 5,600. Look, that's full already. Right, so why is the firebox not on this thing? Do we have to do something to it? Well, the, the caboose will be sold tonight, or should have been sold already. I can't get out of here. I can't get out. Yeah, the caboose will sell tonight. But this is not operational yet. How do we start it up? If I select this. You don't need to do anything. Okay. I can't remember how you put the lantern on. Jay, thank you. God, you know what? It's genuinely frustrating getting in and out of these trains. Right, so I'm going to put that over here because I'm thinking we probably want it over there to move these things. How do you how do you decouple them from the overhead view? I suppose I could just shift T. I 
have rusty skills. I've uh, updated all my flight sim. I had to reinstall flight sim, reinstall every driver known to man, <laughs> and every bit of scenery add on. And oh, it took a while because I completely wiped my operating system. I think I'm most of there now. Uh, solid bond, thank you for 96 months. Yeah, you got the A300 just came out. Seems like a decent plane. How long did it take me to do? I don't know if I could tell you how many total hours. <laughs> I did a plan beforehand and then just worked through my plan. It does take a while though. Because you've got OBS and all that. You've got to bring OBS over. All of its settings, repoint it to different monitors, different devices, cameras, reselect everything. Takes a while. I don't use any software, I use Notepad. I just, just made a big list in my notepad. I used the last migration list that I had from the previous one I did a few years ago because I reinstalled Windows in 2020, I think. That was my last install. And then I took that, deleted some stuff, added loads more stuff, go through your add remove programs, like see what you've got installed, make a note of anything. The main thing I always do, and this is critical, is I always install onto a new ssd i don't install like that way what i did was i bought a new nvme ssd and then i bought an external enclosure for an nvme ssd so i took my operating system nvme out put it into my enclosure then put the new one into the machine and installed windows onto that and that means I've still got access to the entire drive, which means I've got all of my users, documents, my games, app data, everything is all still accessible. So as I install another game or whatever, I can just go to my app data folder on my previous drive and copy it over to my new drive. So just install the game, fire it up, close it, go to app data or whatever it's put its settings, delete the settings, bring the other one over, fire it up, and it's as if I'd never, it's as if it was always on the old machine again. All the settings are brought back over. And that's the way I do it. And that works pretty well. And also because if anything goes wrong with the install, I can always swap the drive back and I've got a working machine. Or if I forget anything, if there was anything critical I needed to do, like export some settings or whatever, I can always swap the drives and um, I've still got a working machine. And I always do that. I find that much, much safer. Have you seen the Beyond ATC add-on? Uh, I've heard about it. I've not tried it. make an image of it onto the new drive well you could make an image yeah but it'd be quite a big file i mean i've got the entire partition backed up anyway i could recover from my backup but it's just easier to have it in an external enclosure
35 packs. I thought there'd have been more by now. Okay, so orders. Oh, do you know what? I was going to put that on the back, wasn't I? But never mind. Never mind. Road. 35. Off you go. Right, meanwhile, I can then go with something else, can't I? So I can come down here. And what is it you guys... So basically you guys are saying that I should take these cars down to... Do they load up here or not? Location sawmill. This is R1. Don't know what that is. If you control click the car, you can tell it where to load. This is the unload track. Right, so we're bringing logs here. And the logging is presumably down at Connolly. Only Creek. Uh -huh. Let's have a look at Connolly Creek then. Track L one. Connolly's tracks are labeled based on what they load. L for logs, P for pulp wood. Got you, thank you. PC Tech, thank you for 108 months. I am doing well. Hope you are. DTM, thank you for two years. Tree Snapper, thank you for a year. <laughs> I think we're going to snap some trees here. So that's Log Loading Track 1. That's Log Loading Track 2, which is down there. Production, tw logs at 12 cars per day. In storage, 24 logs. How many logs go on a car? In storage, 40 logs. Okay. L2 is down here somewhere. That's L2. Which was there. I see. So that's the line that goes down to Connolly. So we can either go further down or we can come into here. Three logs per car. So you've got a loading point here and there's another one down there. And this loading point has 24 logs. So my question is, Looking at the length of that loading bay, I don't know how many cars you can fit into that, but I'm guessing not many. Whereas, yeah, L2 is a lot longer. So I'm thinking we go to L2. Now that is set for that point. That is now set to go in there. And we'd have to reverse into it. We'd have to reverse the train into this. Guessing they're all set. Straight. So we'd kind of want to come past here. And then reverse down that way. Best is to push it up the whole track. I can't, can it? Well, I could. I could pull all this out of there and then get round the other side of it. Well, actually, no, I'm already facing the right way if I pull it out of here and push it straight in. Okay. 
Let's do that then. Has that train got there yet? Is that Ella? Apparently. Do I have to teleport though to, to change? Let me select the right train. Do I have to teleport up there in order to set that car again? I think I do, don't I? So I've got to go all the way up there. Just so that I can click. So you're going to Whittier. Hmm. Moss Pitman, thank you for 51. I wonder if these cars are all coupled. I guess we'll find out. Oh, we just got Yeah, I think I've got it. First and third camera side. Right, if we connect that up. They are connected. What's the handbrake on? Released. Really? So these cars have been sat here with no handbrake. Blimey. Fair play. Okay, let's get out of here then. Yeah, it's just when you come from a game like Derail Valley, <laughs> you kind of realise that what's going on here is a bit arcadey, but that's okay. Push the logs train because the destination track is a dead end. That's what I'm doing. I might do just cause. Let's see if Pups has got it or he wants to play it. I don't know.
I don't know, Impius. I, I, this is the thing. So, some people were saying take these cars down there now, but I don't like. I have a contract, but it's only available from tomorrow. But I guess if we put the cars there now, once it activates at six a.m., I assume it will load it with logs. But I don't know. Microsoft Defender Summary. Microsoft Defender Antivirus did not find any threats since your last search. Thanks, Microsoft. Still getting used to Windows 11. <laughs> okay, so we want to be doing this. Exactly, it pops up, makes a load of noise just to say, everything's fine. It's like, sorry to interrupt you while you're full screen in the game, but I just wanted to let you know, everything's fine. <laughs> Thanks. Some more contracts is on demand, means you can deliver any logs as long as you can take to load them. Yeah, because I noticed the limiting factor is how many logs there are per day, effectively. I'm guessing this is uphill. Well, I'm selectively disabling them, but as they come up, I'll, like, deal with them. I don't want to sort of blanket ignore everything, you know? You need to change the WAV file. There you go. 11 miles per hour. Go to WAV file number two. WAV file one sounds like a, one of those old... What used to get in Victorian England sewing machines. But like, you used to have them in big lines in the factory. And they're just, they're just like a loom. They just go like that. That's wire file number one. And then wire file number two sounds a bit more like a traditional steam train. And it transitions harshly from one to the other at about 11 miles per hour. Beastly Greg, thank you for 114 months, by the way. Doesn't feel like we're going 15 miles now. It's very early access. I read somewhere that they... The game was more or less finished, but they released it into early access. I don't know how true that was, though. It doesn't feel like it was finished, if I'm honest. See you later, checkers. While this is going here, I should probably quickly jump... To 
here and sort this out. Because I reckon that's ready to rock and roll, isn't it? Yeah. So you can go into reverse. I've got some level of automation going. I don't know, Baz, it feels like a lot of games just jump on the EA bandwagon. Either to get more money in early, or as like an excuse to just not polish the game. Yeah, I read that tie rope. I read somewhere else. I think it was one of the Steam comments. Is there a special contract to get a car or payload up to 88 miles per hour? I don't know. I mean, you can get diesel trains. I don't know how quick they go. AAA Studios have no reason to use EA platforms. I think the original intention of Early Access, which was to help indie developers, um, you know, Steam's original concept. I think it's it's been pushed a little bit. <laughs> right, how do we... Well, there's no destination yet because the contract's not mine. One streamer said it's a good idea to put the game as an epic exclusive for an X amount of time, get the money, use the money to polish the game and release on Steam. I mean, that worked for uh, SnowRunner. <laughs> they got a ton of cash off Epic for being exclusive for a year. It's a bit of a hack up here. I think I'm going to let the AI drive this next time. Yeah, Buzz, that's true. I don't think Skylines 2 was ever meant to be EA. It just... They just released it because they'd announced it, but they couldn't polish it to the way they wanted it. It's like Microsoft Flight Sim. When Microsoft Flight Sim came out, you could literally say this was released too early. It took about six months to finish polishing it. But they had a release date and they had to meet it. Yep, ASP2. The state that was released in at the start of last year, compared to what it was like at the end of the last year, worlds apart. I think Flight Sim is slightly better than the Skylines. That's debatable. There were lots, of, like when you fly around the original Microsoft Flight Sim, there were loads of scenery that was just janky, like really badly broken. The flight model was bad, the VNAV was buggy as hell on even the default plane. The performance was not up to scratch. It was really slow on a lot of machines. Brew hits, thank you, eight to one month. No idea where I'm going, but I'm gonna assume I better start slowing down.
Yeah, X-Wing, I posted, um, have a look at my Instagram. You'll see a little uh, story I did walking across Gibraltar. I can't set it yet. The contract's not live. fusey down here just so when I send it back by AI it'll be okay oh KSP2 is stable like KSP2 when I streamed it before Christmas quite a lot it only crashed once. It was very stable. However, it still suffers from the same problem KSP2 suffers from, which is when you start docking together multiple things, all those physics calculations really start to drop your frame rate. And I really don't see any way around that. That's always going to be its limiting factor. The same thing happens in Skylines and Skylines 2. As soon as you've got lots of traffic and lots of population, all them calculations start to weigh down on your FPS. Yeah, that's fair enough, PC Tech. His choice. I'm really enjoying it. Blackburn, thank you for 109 months. Barry Tone, thank you for 90. Mr. Squirrel, it's about the third time catching you live since moving to the US late uh, last March. Hate the time difference and miss you. Oh, dude. I know people, Barry Tone, who get up at 7 a.m. in the States to watch my stream live. I guess it's just a question of commitment. <laughs> now, nah, but seriously, you can always watch the VOD. I appreciate what you're saying. That PC Tech does it. Um, watch his face does it. Um, Tom Sunday. Right, I can't do anything with that yet, can I? Because the contract isn't live. So I'm thinking maybe the best thing to do right now is just skip till tomorrow and then we'll have lots of things to do. What do you reckon? Yeah, it's no, I was only joking, Baritone. Load the logs, dude says you don't need a contract to load. Well, you can load them. Loads to, empties to here. Shall I just set that to L2 then? That was L2, wasn't it? There's L2. Okay, so if I do load to the Conley Creek L2, I can't set it to go to the sawmill yet for some reason. Are you going to tell me it doesn't draw the logs on the back? See, I can't. I can't finish this yet because I don't have a contract for the sawmill. Skip an hour. Do you reckon that'll work? They are very big trees. I'm going to say that much. That's a lot of firewood. <laughs> uh, 
So should I just take this to the sawmill on the basis that I can't sell it yet? Or just leave it here until the contract's live? Because the contract still isn't live yet. Yeah. Just turn off the brakes. I won't need to do anything else. The problem will be trying to keep this thing under control. So the rear light is apparently on. I don't see much of a rear light. We're going to burn the brakes out down here. Start to locusts don't have rear lights, okay. Yeah, I'm going to use the AI as soon as I've set it all up. Oh, we're going to have a derail. 100% going to have a derail. Oof. I got spicy. I take it there's going to be no brake fight. Sleep. Uh, you can sleep until six. Wait until midnight. The contract kicks in. Set them to load at midnight. Thing is, how can you tell the AI to drive this route? Because you can only tell the AI to go forward or to go backwards. And to load this requires you to reverse out of here. Drive forward to the to the siding and then reverse back in. You got to go backwards and then forwards into the sawmill, so it won't do that, will it? It just won't do it. Thank you, Bryla. Thank you for eighteen months. I'm trying not to derail, but you know it's going to happen at some point. Is it auto save? I don't know. So that's reverse up to the fuse at which point you can either give it a new order or manually take over. I suppose you can get it to do the stretch down to the the depot and then manually drop it in yourself, reverse it back and then tell it to bring it up here. Because running this leg's a bit tedious. Right, why did, no why did nobody tell me that it's quarter past three and that I should have taken my break 15 minutes ago, you bunch of scumbags? You utter, utter bunch of scumbags. You knew, you knew it's quarter past three and you didn't mention it. I just looked at the clock and be like, hang on a minute, why am I feeling hungry? Got messages from the wife now. Wow. 
Just wow, you guys. <laughs> well, I'm going to stop there and I'm going to go and get some food. <laughs> I shall be back somewhere between 45 minutes and 60 minutes after I've eaten some food. I'm blaming all of you, Joint DK, you included. And seriously, I'm going to go and get some food because I'm hungry. I'll be back in an hour or so. All right? That's it from me. Bye for now. Welcome back. Welcome back. Back with some more railroad. How are we doing? Have you just joined? Welcome. We're trying out railroad today. Or railroader, I think it's called. How's it been so far? It's been okay. I mean, the railroad driving is not as detailed as Derail Valley. It's more about the logistic management side of things. So, yeah, once you got over the weird WAV files, audio on the train, <laughs> and, and accepted that it doesn't teach you a lot, we've got uh, we've got somebody else with us who's sat like this. That would be Puppy. Let's put the brakes on. Come on. That shouldn't have been changed. That should be there. Yeah. Interesting torso and head movement, though. Hello. Hello. <laughs> that seated position looks really comfortable. Yeah, you, you look quite comfy, though. <laughs> <laughs> nice glasses, by the way. Thanks, Faze. I you, think they added a unique touch. Are you deliberately puffing your chest out? You're doing the same on my screen. What happens if I look ahead? Well, <laughs> is my character literally doing what you're doing there? Yes. Well, if I do that, where does my head go now? Literally wherever you're looking, your head turns. Like, go on, you've got to do that. It might be a bit glitchy because it tends to ping back. Oh, well, I can do it. Can you not do a 180 then? Well, I'm currently facing out the back of the train. If you do it fast enough, it glitches. So it locks, basically. Yeah. It does look a bit creepy, though. Not going to lie. <laughs> right. I don't know if we can sell these yet, because I don't really have a contract, I don't think. No worries. If you want, um, go and have a look what the... If you go to Whittier... Yep. Um, have a look. You might have to set the set the passenger train to say it's going to Ella, and then it'll load it. Yep. And then you'll be able to um, tell the AI to drive it once it's loaded. If you know how to do it, I don't know how much yeah, you watched. Uh, three out of the four hours. It depends if you saw the first three or the last three hours, Tyro. Well, <laughs> I modded the first two. So he missed the last hour. Uh, yes. Did you see me using the AI? Yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, one X, thank you for 29 months. Rusty Brazen, thank you for 73. Adobe with 33. Navarine, 81. Uh, thanks for gifting a sub to Abu Jori, Rusty. Um, Peter Bolt, 17. And Kamikaze with. 48 months and four years. Hoping to be on this boarders train for at least four years more. <laughs> Thank you very much.
because I don't think I can set these as a destination to the sawmill until the contract activates at midnight. Yeah. We'll see. Adobe, thank you. I'm going to give for some to uh, Angela. stick there. I doubt we'll ever automate that bit, but I'll put it there anyway. Nurse. I don't know if the AI recognizes the end of a line or whether it, I need to put that there. I don't know. Okay, so what's happening up there? I'm just doing the train and then I'll take these passengers. Well, you can get the AI to drive it. If I want to drive it. Okay. Well, I'm going to be skipping time anyway. Nice. Uh, let's see. Railroad. Where do we skip time again? Was it, it was settings, wasn't it? Time. There it is. So by my reckoning, if we skip. Ooh. We skipped some midnight. So yeah, pups, if you want to go ahead and drive, you go for it, mate. Right, there we go. Get my seriously bright lantern out by pressing the L key. I can see so hmm. much. If you click that, and then operations, sawmill R1. Copy to coupled. Good. That's now set to load. <clears throat> Take the load to here. If I do that. Yep, that lights up. Are they all in there? Yep. Take the load to here and empty up at empties up to Connolly. So that should start to unload now. Which it is doing because I can see one log is missing. Oh that's cool. It's taken one log off the first car. Noise. I'm guessing if I skip an hour. Okay, a whole bunch of them have gone. Oh, wow, it takes a bit of time to do this. Look at that. Two, three, four. So four hours is enough to fully unload that train. Now, when it gets to 6 a.m., we're going to end up with a load of jobs back down here. Yeah. I'll make it half past five so you can see what you're doing. Just bear in mind the, the speed limit's up there, yeah? Yeah. How come we haven't been paid by the sawmill yet? Uh -huh. like we just um, unloaded a load of stuff and that there's been no payment. Sawmill doesn't pay for logs, but giving them logs means they can produce goods, which they do pay. Ah. Interesting. 
So all I'm taking logs there didn't actually do anything for us at all financially. do get paid it's just the next step okay so that means somebody's somebody's not correct then either we don't get paid or we get paid at midnight if you want to go over how crews and switch lists work so you can make a shared to-do list for which cars need to go where. Uh, yes, I think that would be useful because right now we ain't got Scooby-Doo. Right, first of all, I'm going to make it so we can see what we're doing. Okay. Now, I'm surprised to see nothing's been delivered down here. Actually, no, I'm not. What I am surprised by is the fact this hasn't sold yet. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, game just decided to do everything <laughs> I thought it would do. <laughs> so it eventually did sell that, and then it eventually spawned some stuff. <laughs> Hang on, tie rope. Um, in the master menu, there's a crew tab. Make and name one. Pups can join it. Okay, create create a train crew. Um, scumbag crew. Rather, let's go with crew scumbag. Or let's just go with scumbags. There we go. Please select a crew, scumbags. Okay, you need to join that, Pups. Joined. Okay, so did we get paid anything? Okay, so the caboose sold for 3750 East Whittier Interchange received 14 cars. Okay, that's not fine. I don't even know where they need to go yet. Hella Bridge. So oh, yeah, this is the stuff that's... Yeah, I paid a bunch of money. To create these, these need to be taken to the bridge to help to build the bridge, basically. That's like the overarching mission. No worries. Okay, I'm going to get the AI to drive this thing up to... I think I need to switch that. So if I do that, it should be able to drive itself there, I think. Road, forward. What was the limit around that track? 25, I think. Right, so it should take that back up to the log factory. I need to buy another loco now, because we've got one on the passenger run, one on this, and we need another one. Uh, Garion, thank you for 27 months. Mr. Hambone, thank you for 85. So, the moguls, all right. We've got 8,000. That's 5,700. That's a bit more powerful. Six-ton capacity. Factor of adhesion. What the heck is that? What is it with these ten wheelers and those small cold things? What's going on? The switcher. 
I'm, I think we just get another mogul for now. Yeah. Yeah. Squirrel ordered a shiny new mogul. Delivered to the East Whittier Interchange. Which presumably means it should appear down here at some point. Do we only get that at midnight? Oh, hang on. No, it's just tacked it on the end there. You better put coal in that, you scumbag game. It's like buying a brand new car and they don't fill it up. Lol. Um, hey, uh, not quite what I wanted. Um, select that. Three tons of coal. It comes with, honestly, it comes with half a tank, basically. Bunch of scumbags, they really are. Half water and half coal. That is that is literally what the car dealers do. They never fill you up. They start you off with half a tank to get you home. Even though you just spent thousands with them. DK Trucker, thank you for 70 months. What's the key to get the hub in the corner again, Paul, for your train? The hub in the corner? You know, you've got the train controls in the corner. Yeah, you select, so control click on the locomotive and then choose select. That's what I was missing. And yeah, I just did that because <clears throat> I pressed nine. Because zero and nine will go to the front and back of the train. And it literally took me to the other train because okay. I hadn't selected this one. Right, this needs to go. Three miles northwest of the Ella Bridge site. I'm guessing it has to be pushed there. So I might as well just connect to this now. I'm just loading up 37 passengers. That felt like a handbrake is on. Um, okay, okay. Well, it didn't look very coupled, did it? Okay, so two cars have got the handbrake on. I presume you can't release. Oh, I guess I'm going to set the train crew on this release. one to scumbags. It's just making weird noises. Oh. That's some kind of weird physics thing going on there. Yes, I do, sir. This is heavy. And this is heavy. Right, we're going to have to coordinate, pups. I'm still at the station loading passengers. Okay, because I need to come via Ella. And you're on the line there, aren't you? Uh, you're outside that station. Yeah, I'm still outside. There is a track to the left of me you can go past me on well you either need to get to Whittaker and I pass you there or you pull into this siding one of those sidings ahead of you and I go the other one it's yeah. one of those two options I'm missing something my independent brake don't want to come off uh, 
Have a look, go first person and have a look at the control. It's the one with the red. So the one above the red. The black one. Yeah, every time I take it off, it just goes straight to 100%. Yeah, so you know what's going on? The AI is controlling that thing. So you need to turn the AI off. So you control click on the locomotive. Yeah, then go to yep. orders and put it on manual. And then the AI won't well, yeah, fight yeah. you. That would out, wouldn't it? Yep. You can tell by the dude on logo label. Uh, oh wait, is it, no, he's at Witty. He's not at Ella at all. Scumbag, he lied. The loco is nearly at Connolly. It's quite slow moving. Quite useful having it drive it though. Yeah. Tell you what is useful the drone cam so you can actually check your points without having to run along the side of the train. Mm. Don't forget, Control T will teleport you around. Yeah. I could have topped up with coal and water, but I'm past it now, so it's fine. We'll be fine. For a run to the bridge and back's no problem. Uh, I didn't see your follow-up message about the switch list, no. I didn't see that. You have to reverse into Ella's platform. Uh, what? Just keep, you don't need to turn around. Just keep going the same way you want. You can drive straight in, it's fine. Okay. Right, where are you now? You're on your way out, aren't you? Yeah. And okay. you're... I'm going to be coming up behind you, so when, you're, when you've when you unloaded, yep. you're going to have to pull yeah, ahead into way. a siding. Yeah. So I can go past you at Ella. Yep. With an umbrella. Ella. Ooh. Ella. Did you bargain for that umbrella? Nine euros, mate. Nine euros, Sam's like a bargain. Good deal, ball. isn't it? For a stretchy, yeah, bendable umbrella. Off. I've got 45 passengers on board. This is super heavy, this load. You got 115 hours in the game, Dark Soul. Oh. Damn! Uh, Chelf, thank you for 69 months. Good luck trying to hill. Oh, Baz, I'm sorry, mate, because I finished lunch late. I didn't get a chance to do it yet. I have. We have made a note just for you. It will be started for tomorrow. Uh, Eagle Point. I've just got people from the team joining me in the games. I'll get it sorted tonight, Bass. Don't worry. Flipping it. Otherwise, I'll give you a refund. <laughs> you could just ban him. <laughs> wow. Oh, are these just for yeah, a badge? Just a little Rottweiler, aren't you, puppy? Well, it's only a badge. It's not life or death a situation. Rottweiler puppy. That's what you want. B-Dub, thank you for tier 3, sir. 68 months. 16 is rated for 797 tons. You what? Someone said, according to fan-made tonnage chart, your G16 is rated for 797.85 tonnes on a 0% grade. And my train's mass is 968. In other words, I'm exceeding the laws of physics, perhaps. But that's nothing new. 
Well, you are a genius, Paul. You see, because those the problem with those tonnage charts, Tyro, is it doesn't they don't take into account driver skill. See? <laughs> that can add or de deduct quite a few percentage from those numbers. Driver skill. Who says I'm going backwards? My train's pointing forwards, though. Uh, Trotters, thank you for 87 months. You're welcome. Uh, track speed. I'm already at track speed almost. There's a 30 mile an hour limit up here. We're doing 27. I say your charts are wrong. It is nice not to have to build the track this time around. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to catch you up by the look of it. Yeah, see, uh, so I've discovered one bug in MP. What speed are you doing? 26. Have you moved your reverser? Yeah, it's on 100%. Sure? It yes. shouldn't be on 100%. If you want to go quicker, you need to bring it more towards centre. When you pick up speed. Basically, having the reverser full gives you maximum torque, oh, okay. but it doesn't yeah. give you maximum speed. So uh, once you've got moving, you need to gradually bring it in. Yeah. I have speed. discovered one problem what? on MP. Your map update, mine doesn't. That just sounds like a skill issue. So I can't actually see where you are. You can, because I bring up the map and you can see it on the stream. <laughs> well, yeah, when you bring it on the stream. don't need to know what the other trends are that's the beauty of whistles if you hear one that isn't yours something's close <laughs> that's a very seat of the pants way of operating trains right pups can you um go straight through that platform don't stop there go straight through and then flick the switch behind you so i'll bypass you yeah, yeah. and then you can reverse back into the station yeah, no worries. I'll be approaching you very shortly. So let me know if you don't achieve this. I'll be there in about 25 seconds or so. Right, the first one switched for you. Okay, so it's set to end. bypass you, yeah? Yep, I'm just going to the other end now. You don't need to set the other end. Okay. It's a merge. You don't need to set on a merge. Oh, you know, I need to remember this, don't I? No, I'm perfectly fine as I'm a, as far as I'm aware. Okay, that's a bit freaky. Uh, you're going past me, right? Yeah. I don't see you. You don't see me or you don't see the train? I don't see you or the train. Is that normal in the multiplayer for this game? Like, not being able to see each other at all? Yeah, you're not there at all for me. And you can't even hear me? Nope. What the? So what's wrong? Go what's going on with that then? We should be able to see each other. Well, how? Why is it we can't? Like what? I think it probably is a skill issue. Yeah. Well, I've joined the 
the crew. Pops, are your eyes open? Yes, they are in. I can't imagine what setting we would need for you to see me. That's just weird. Well, I can see you at the start. Pops could try and re-log while he waits for the train to load. I mean, I can do that quick. Yeah, I've got my draw distance on the most it can yeah, go. Yeah, it was drove right past you. That should just yeah. work. There's no option. Now, let me disconnect a sec. My train should stay with my brakes on, so... I think all of these are for the Ella Bridge site, aren't they? Apart from that one. All right, let me just teleport to you a second. Now I see you. Now you see the train? Yeah, and the map updated. Okay, so that must have been a weird... When you joined a bug or something. Yeah. Interesting. Don't know, Namichi. I mean, as far as I can tell, we've done our bit, though. I can hear your train. Yeah, hang on. There is a bug report in Discord three days ago where nearly brought Loco's show at 000 for the clients until they... Uh, that's probably what you just saw, then. Because I just bought this Loco. And when you logged back in, you saw it. Yeah, that's yeah. what it is. Um, how do I take the free cam and move up in the wild? Um, mouse wheel. Thank you. I'm so used to the. Um, what's the other game we play? Uh, rare, rare worlds on one. Yeah, that one, Paul. Rare worlds. Rare worlds, yeah. Rare, rare worlds. Where are my loading passengers? This line, you are right. Oh dear, I've got to be on that line too. Okay, um, hang on, let me go forward out your way. It's fine, I'll slow down. I've got 10 passengers left. Yeah, I'll wait for you. I'll just, I need to go down to the next station basically. Okay, if you if I flick you've the got switch five, you've got 32 yeah. packs waiting. Just get them all loaded up. Did you select the the destination on your car? Not yet, no. I was unloading these. Okay, that's fine. So you control... So I'll let you do it. Shift let me know clicked. if you don't know how to do it. Operations, Whittler Depot. There we go. They're loading. Yeah, it will clear the flag on the Ella destination automatically when yeah. they finish getting off. I do love the option if you have more than one passenger cart you can literally just press copy to coupled and it will just do them all that was useful for the log cars because i could set the destination for the log car yeah and then it copied them to all the other cars and the that were connected can you see and hear that train now yeah yeah i can you see it coming right at you really quick yes yes i do paul
you load it. Yeah. That was quick. But it's just scale, man. Scale. That's what it is. Yeah. Hard to get into a moving car. <laughs> really who, hard. Who would believe it? Who would believe that's a thing? But, but it's for all the wrong reasons. That like you can't even jump into it properly. Yeah, I think I ended up going to the there map and just teleporting on top of it. So you have to get quite lucky. Down there. Yeah. Watch out for that 30 limit. Yeah. So, what's here? You need to pull into the. Um, actually, yeah. So, when you get down there, you take the left line as you look at it. I'm going to take the right. If that makes sense. You keep left when you get to the split, and I'll keep right. Okay, so I'm going on the little split. Sorry. Yeah, because you want to go to the platform, and if yeah. you look. If you split left, you'll take you straight to the platform. Just keep left on your way in. Yep. And I'm going to go right because I need to go to um, uh, that one. That's the manufacturing, I think. signal you probably can to be fair my train's doing bang on for that too that sounds lovely numbering minus 43 oh summer's day that Apparently you can have your person at one side of the map and free cam to the other. Yep, that's what I just did. <laughs> uh, the log train should have arrived at its destination now. I just need to go up there and sort it out. Just see your smoke go around the corner. <laughs> okay, I've thrown the switch you just passed. I just move yours and go and put it back. <laughs> I saw I saw yours was wrong, so I moved it, and you must have clicked oh, it. Clicked it at exactly the exact, same time. Yeah. Uh, Truck ball. Thank you for thirty-one months. I did. Thank you. Mr. Leonard, thank you for 119. Merry New Year.
Hmm. Can I even deliver this with that other box carver? Also, I'm the wrong side of it, annoyingly. You going into that siding where the box car is? Well, I'm trying to work out if I oh, can, yeah, I can fit see another box. I think I can. Is that empty? Yet? Try. That's still empty. Is it really zoning on? I hope they improve the audio soon. <laughs> yeah. Very rudimentary sound. Can't believe Chris Steam's not here, just missing all this. It's ridiculous. No dedication, Paul. None. Probably driving trains. Yeah, diesel trains. No, I meant electric. Sorry, no, it's electric, isn't it? Maybe he's secretly here, but he's lurking. He'd rather be at the pub, you're not wrong. Okay, that is delivered. Okay, we just got paid sixty nine dollars yep. for dropping that off. Now what does it want me to do with it? It looks like it wants taking back to the interchange, I think. So I'll just take it back that way. Okay. I'm guessing you're doing the repair at a track and bridge thing. Well I dropped all the stuff off, but yeah, I don't know. It says phase one of three. Yeah, that's cars what I'm ordered. looking at. It says waiting for delivery. Deliver the 13 cars to the site. These cars will be delivered to the interchange the next time the interchange is served. Well, I took them there. They've got them all delivered. Did it happen over midnight or something? I don't know. 
when the cars are empty, you can order the next set. So I guess the, I guess the goods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a box missing. So basically, it's gradually unloading it by the look of it. So it's being realistic. Yep, that's exactly what it's doing. Not gonna lie, the uh, you know, like the bottom left, you've got the controls for the train. Yeah. They're so much smoother than railroads online. Uh, I don't know how new it is, Truck of All. I think it came out December, I remember. So relatively new, I guess. Uh, yeah, it says Railroad uh, has arrived in early access the 7th December. That box car needs to stay there. It's not meant to go back. I, are you sure about that? When I click on it, I think you're right. It's not unloaded, is it? I got paid for it. <laughs> if I got paid yeah, for it, I could just take it. One. What if I get paid for it, then I take it somewhere else and sell the, the property inside that isn't mine? <laughs> what about that? You see, this one's going to be unloaded very, very soon. Wait, I need to swap these round. Otherwise, because this one's going to take like a day and a half to unload. Yeah. And if I don't swap these round, I'll never get that one back out of there. Two point nine tons left on that. Nice. I presume when I put it back, it'll carry on unloading. <laughs> In theory, it should do. Yeah, if it doesn't, you're gonna find out the hard way. Yep. This train's moving. <laughs> this thing's starting to roll. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> I took the handbrake off and it's like, Ooh. see you later. Actually, quite handy because it'll uh, it'll catch me up in a sec. <laughs> I've got boomerang cars, that's what it is. Uh, 
That's brill. Uh, just me and pups. I think Knight's bought the game, but I don't know how well he knows it yet. Oh, I got all excited then. I thought it was pottery throw down, but that's just my own. Sunday pottery throw down. Let's go. Let's shed a tear for that wonderful pottery. <laughs> I love how he constantly cries about <laughs> things. He's unbelievable. You can tell by the artwork. You put a lot of effort into this. It's so funny. Oh, someone else watches the traitors. Traitors is getting good. It is, but it's frustrating. Like, they, they genuinely have no clue. <laughs> they just sat there accusing all of the people who are not traitors. Low him. <laughs> it is kind of funny how the traitors just sat back and like don't have to do anything. Yep, just stay under the radar. Where they should be. Let's put that on. I really want to be on that show, traitors. Oh, I don't think you realize how stressful it is. I'm on my way back to Wittalaw. Okay. Because I think on a meter they all leave at the same time and get into Land Rovers. Yeah, they're obviously taken off to separate places. Probably got some caravans down the road or something. <laughs> caravans? <laughs> no, because seriously, because I looked where it was, it's in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. They would have to be kept separated. That's for sure. Yeah, on a meet you, do they just leave with the others and then two land range drivers just disappear into a side road somewhere? I should drive back to that fusey, I think. Oh, 
I've still got 7,000 gallons of oil left. What the hell? <laughs> it takes so long. So a tier one out of five, the industries will be more busy when you've worked them up a bit. Well, considering the tutorial only teaches you 10% of what to do, I, th I think it's wise that it does that. Otherwise, we'd be completely inundated, wonder what was going on. Hear that other train coming. Powered by AI. Even though it's over the other side of the hill, I can hear it. And if I can get some coal and water before he turns up. I don't know, Anamichi. I'm not really sure what their plans are for the game. They should do a game like this, but with just telly handlers. <laughs> you and your telly handlers. You should work in a warehouse, I'm telling you. Zipping around in a forklift. Good evening Paul, Sean and chat. What is this? You play a steam train game without me? How dare you? Skleros I think one of the locos in the game is based on Sierra number 3 which appear in many films, including Back to the Future 3. Thing is Chris, we were questioning your, your loyalty all day. I've been playing this all day and we're saying Chris isn't even here. He's probably down the pub instead. So, well, I put it to you sir that you wasn't here for a Steam game. <laughs> Thirty dollars. I can just see the AI with all the logs on the couch. It's just reversing down the hill. Yep, and I'm trying to basically make sure I get out of it before he turns up. Because he's going to come right down this line in a minute. <laughs> Whittler has eight cars with unfulfilled Weeble deals. You what, mate? Uh, does it? How does he know that? I clicked, you know, I'm at the station. I clicked on the station agent. I went to the freight tab and it says... Hang on. There's an AI engineer line against us. What? What's it talking about? Whistler Station will tell you your eight log cars ain't where they... aren't where they are meant to be. Is this thing stupid? It's literally mer it doesn't need. 
Oh my god. So you're telling me every every point has to be set, even whether it will merge it or not? That makes no sense. It doesn't matter when you come in that way. Oh, jeez. That's going to get pretty annoying. Can't we... Well, eventually you can hire a signaler, though, right? Uh, it's called a person, but yeah. <laughs> It does that so you can plan train meets. Wouldn't want to throw an AI into a siding, let alone let another train pass it. Um, I get what you're saying. I think you should be able to choose it on a case-by-case -case basis. Or would it be helpful if it, like, I don't know. I get what you're saying, and it can be useful not merging when you know you want some warning. But equally, if you've just dedicated a line to it, just get on with it. There it comes. I swear, if he puts the bell on, <laughs> just, just the whole. Ding, ding, woo, woo, thing. How's it compared to railroads online? You don't lay any track, Chris. You don't build the track yourself at all. You're running the logistics side of it. I'm not missing the tree chopping. <laughs> uh, the flares are called fusies, and they basically tell the AI where to stop. So if you put one down, it considers it effectively a red light, and it won't run past it. Speaking of which, I'm going to take over this thing. No, I'm not. Manual. Uh, select. It would be nice if you could build your own track, but... Hmm. I mean, you kind of can indirectly, like the mission we're doing is going to build some track. But it's a bit like SnowRunner building a bridge, it's in like a very fixed position. Do you get a cut soon as well at the end? <laughs> yeah, I hope so. Get some music, some guitar. <laughs> Even though you've got music turned off in the settings, you get a guitar riff. I still haven't learnt what that new map looks like on that game. Uh, still won't for Sammy, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I can tell you the next phase is already on the public test server. We're just not good enough for him. Well, that's what I reckon. <laughs>
He's just scared of our AMD CPU. That's what it is. That's exactly what it is. Okay, that should just automatically unload. Can we tell anything about the industry? How much, how many logs it has? Uh -oh. No idea. Been on nuclear reactor sim yet? No, I don't even own the game. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Well, I was there when you looked at it and the refuse were a bit... There were some bugs, weren't there? So, I can't... How do we tell, looking at the sawmill? Anyway, you here? can click on it. How can we tell how it's getting on? Track R1. In storage, 18 logs, 82%. Right, okay, so it's nearly full. It can it can basically unload eight cars per day. But it won't unload some of them because according to this, it's nearly full. Okay. Because in that lake behind you, it can only store about 20 logs. In that giant lake? Yeah. <laughs> okay. In that lake, <laughs> right there, it consumes eight cars, not unloads. Consumes, sorry, it consumes eight log cars per day. When you go up in tier, it will allow more storage. Ah. We're being reputation locked. We've got a big lake, but you're only allowed to access a little part of it. Right, let me edit an I and I file, Paul. <laughs> okay, so how do we... So that's producing stuff, right? How do we... Is that the stencil manufacturing, or is that something else? Also, do you live... Can you... Like the passenger stations, are they leveling, leveling up because I keep delivering passengers to them? I think it might be based on our rep or something. This is the output line. So I presume we have to take a contract with somebody. Whittier Sawmill will spawn cars for SO1, SO2, next interchange. Okay. So now we've supplied it with logs. It will then manufacture something and spawn stuff here. Is that right? Ella Bridge site, Ella Farm Supply, Ella Station. I don't want to bite off more contracts than we can deal with. But right now, we can't do anything with the logs. What's going on up at the station is, yeah, there's not there's nothing else to do apart from. If we go if we go to sleep now. We'll end up with some output from the sawmill. We'll probably end up with a way bill to bring the empty box car back. Uh, I don't know how long that milestone will take to go to next phase. We could try taking on another contract. Yep. We could try the farm supply. No, he's not easy to do it. anything. Just, just shout. That's me. Okay, so Tyrope, you were going to explain the crew thing and how we set up shared objectives. I'm going to put that on tier one. Let's see, we get get some more I work can, out of them. I can see if I press the I and go to milestones, I can see what's in progress and what's available. Installed diesel fuel. We don't really need that yet. 
He explained it twice. Yeah, but I wasn't reading. So you go to your log cards, for example, and open its little window with control click. One second. Go back down there. Open its little cards with control click. Yeah. And on the rightmost tab, there's an add to switch list. On switch list. Okay. So you tick that. If you press T, Pups can do this. It will show the switch list of your crew. Oh, I see that. It looks like somebody's written it in chalk and then put a yeah. line through it. It's like old school blackboard. Any cars that are done will be struck out. Hmm. Okay. So if I add the passenger thing to the switch list, mm -hmm. which you should show for you, right? If you add them, yeah, I guess. I mean, can you add that to the switch list? If I add that one to the switch list. And then oh, add... you can only add freight, okay. The switch list. It's just... It's the chalk writing that gets me. And then I add that one to the switch list. Yeah, so when they need something doing, presumably, that will... So I predict tomorrow, this one over here... Um, MFG BB2, which is the uh, 2030, that's the second one, the 2318. Yeah. That will need moving tomorrow. I'm fairly sure of that because it's nearly empty. So then that should become part of the things we need Switch to do, list, maybe. Yeah. You can add packs to your crew to organize your railroad in subsections. Packs can't be switch listed, but you can add packs to your crew. Hmm. I think of 72 months, Donut. Happy six years. I mean, the, the passenger car is where it says train crew here is already on scumbags. So. Example, you can assign SQR01 to a Connolly logging crew and add the log cars to that crew switch list while keeping the contracted freight to the scumbag crew. Which is SQR01 again? That was my yeah, the one I'm in. Well, it's you. The crew's already set to scumbags. I think he's saying you can add it to a different crew. Because you can have more than one crew. Yeah, I know what you're saying. So you can have like a crew for logging and then a crew for whatever and split it up that way rather than have it all in the same crew, I guess. Oh, uh, okay. Multiple crews is how you'd handle bigger save files so you don't have a million cars on your switch list. But then, so do you then have to keep leaving and joining the different crews in order to see them? So if I create logging crew, no equipment assigned. Right, okay. So the logging train is number two. Okay, that appears to be underwater. Whatever again. <laughs> um, <laughs> so if I basically put that in logging crew right so if you bring up your switch list now you've got that so if I join the logging crew I'll press my switch list I've got nothing is it because them carriages are not assigned to the logging crew? Well, SQRL2 is assigned. You don't assign cars. You assign... 
you make a new crew, it still shows the old one leave to avoid glitches. So if I if I leave scumbags, then I bring up the list. It's got nothing in it. Even though SQL2 is listed as being in the login crew. So why does that why does that train not show up in the in this crew? I don't get that. One tiny annoyance for the switchless, you can't copy to couple the switchless assignments, hence why I don't recommend clicking that cleanup button. Just ignore the struck cars though. Tick up tick up the switch on switch list again. Oh. Okay, now it shows. But I have to do that for every single car. Okay, so just by swapping the crews now, you can see what needs doing, whether it's logging or everything counts. Mm. I just don't know if you need to have the locomotive assigned to the crew. If I leave that one and join that one, You don't need to assign locomotives to a crew, that's just a multiplayer organization thing. Gotcha. Okay. So they don't need to be. The locos don't need to be assigned. You could okay. use any. It's got none. I've just set my train crew to none on scroll one. There's one more left, squirrel 250, whatever that is. I don't know what squirrel 250 is. Uh, that's a passenger car, hang on. Oh, yeah, okay. Wait, I've unassigned it. Yeah, so apparently don't click on clean up at the top of the switch list for some reason. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I don't think there's much to do until midnight. So do you want to just um, flick through the night or something? Yeah, let's go for it. I mean, we could either flick to midnight or sleep till like 6 a.m. and get everything. Oh, yeah, let's do it. Okay, we just slept. Stuff's happening. Yep. Reputation maintained. That's good. Yeah, so if I look at the switch list on scumbags now, there's two. So your scumbag switch list can be cleaned up, but don't but don't do it on your login list. Oh my God. Why not the logging list?
Right, so are you doing those two on the switch list, Paul? I don't know, I'm just having a quick look around and see what's happened. Okay, so that... Interesting. Almost all the log trains have been emptied. It says you can do it, but then you'd have to re-add your log carts when they are empty. So that's why you don't click it on your log cart. You can what? Basically, don't click it, because otherwise you have to re-add all your log carts when they're empty. Oh, my God, that'd be annoying. So is this thing... Also, I'll be one minute. All right, so the sawmill has not outputted anything. Why is that? It's consumed all the logs, but it's not outputted a, a single thing. Do we need to move to tier two on the sawmill? I can't. See, interchange of box cars, flat cars, and the SO1, SO2 track. Uh, yes, I think it did. It's got some sawmill stuff back here. Ella House, ER1, is that for the... Is that for that? No, sorry, that. That's phase two. So that must be for phase two, I think. There's no visual output, only loads into cars directly. You haven't started phase two. Ella House is compulsory freight for Ella Station. Right, so if I start the next phase. The next interchange will get all eight cars for that. Okay, so that needs to go to Ella. That needs to go to the farm supplier, Ella. As does that. That's going to ER1. Ella House ER1 is that thing. I'm back. Sorry about that. All right. All right. So some deliveries here for um, Ella. Cut. Ella House ER1 is that. God, that is painful to drop at. The other one is farm, which is that one. So I don't think this siding is long enough for a locomotive and three cars. No. And because of that, you can't reverse into here and then push one in there and two in there, which is what you need to do. Thus making that a very annoying drop-off. Loco plus three can fit, barely. That is a frustrating piece of track. Like, if that was longer, you could get a lot more into that. But yeah, I guess three cars, maybe. Right, so... Three of them need to go up to Whittier Sawmill. So basically, there's two jobs down here. I can do one, you need to do the other. Okay, so shall I reverse back with the passenger cart and stick it in one of those sidings? Um, you could use the locomotive that's attached to the logging cars for now. Okay, where do you want me to park this one? Because it's probably going to be in the way. Uh, where uh, are you? Are you Ella? L yeah. Oh, you will be in the way. Should I um, park it on the... Uh, I would suggest that you um, 
go forward, keeping the left, and just leave yep. it there. Because we're going to have to divert around. Okay. Whoever's going to Ella's going to have to use that bit of track to get in. Nice. Right. So we'll move this just out keep the it way. left. Um, I've got homemade shepherd's pie. Oh, good for you, mate. I wasn't expecting it. I don't normally get food. <laughs> you must have done something nice. No, Dad made too much, in other words. Whoa. Whittier Sawmill, SOS2. Whittier Sawmill is that one. Oh, that's only here. Right, then I'm grabbing the train that's attached to logs, right? Yes. Um, put the handbrake on on the logs on the log immediately in front of you before, because it, otherwise it'll roll back out of that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab hold of these three front cars. Yep. Pull them forward, and you can then go in. Take the round two. the back with your local because you'll need to push them up there. And then oh. I'm going to go in round the back of these sawmill ones. I mean. Yep. It doesn't make any difference. Pick pick where you want to go, Ella or Sawmill. It doesn't really matter. Um, sawmill is, is literally here. It's a shunting operation. I'll do that one then if you want to take the longer one because you're right next to it. Okay. I'm going to have to get around the back of the cars anyway. Was it? I'll Shift tell you what. Left click to automatically lock the hose line. Say again. You know, someone said there's a so stop. It's yeah, you just shift clicks. click on the pipes and it'll do it all for That's you. That's it. Thank you. Right, you need to get round the back. Uh, Focus Z Tech, thank you for 37. Black Mutt, thank you for 121. Neil Kodar, thank you for 92. And early access with 38 months. Yeah, we're going to have to get behind both sets of cars here. Okay. Uh, the front three and the back three are a set. The back three needs shunting. Yep, bow in the caboose does nothing really. Okay, where are you? Uh, still at the sawmill, not moved yet. Right, you need to reverse your loco. Squirrel 2. Yep. Have you detached it? Yep. Looks connected to me. The brake hoses look connected. That's where you would. Okay, I've complete. set the points for you. So just go back. Okay. And you should basically bypass me in a second. Yeah, I'm sure the caboose will have a purpose at some point, but right now, 
It's better to get the cash. Buy it local. Where I hope I set that correctly. I hope so. some weird stereo audio going on yeah not the only one the exact same wav file is playing <laughs> twice basically you need to go back up that central track okay then I need to follow you but I'll stay here for now See, that's connected. It's connected. Farm supply. Okay, yeah. So you want to you want to connect up to these cars doing less than five miles per hour. Yep. And then you're gonna have to then reverse them out of the. you're taking the back three and then you want to reverse back beyond me and then I'll go back up there okay get my cars sounds like a plan you see me running pups how quick can I run? Uh, very quick. <laughs> it's kind of concerning how fast you can run. You need to go exactly the square root of three squared pups. Okay. Done your pipes. You should be able to reverse now. You should be able to reverse now. I'm trying. Noob, skill issue. Come is any of, is, is the handbrakes on? Look at the bottom left for any of them pink. Oh yeah, the far two. Nope, they're all released as far as I can tell. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One oh. second. How many cars have you got? Well, I think it's all of them. Shouldn't be. I just disconnected. Just... How many cars have you got now? That seems the right amount, so you got... I should. Yeah, there you go. That's correct, isn't it? Uh, Stiff Dog, thank you, 51. Yeah, you could have pushed him as well. We don't do efficiency. We do seriously quick railroad logistics. Exactly. Not seriously efficient, seriously quick. 
and we don't guarantee your goods will get there in one piece with the speed we move. No, at. there's never a guarantee. It's just quick. to go past that so I've got some space to yeah, yeah. Um, should be able to basically follow me yep but you need to shunt over to the right so when yep. i'm gone you'll have to set your stuff up I'm just putting these in the platform and then unhooking, ain't I? Yeah, if you, um, if you press the tab key, then like when you hover over each car, it'll show you which platform it goes into. Yeah. So I, I can't, I think the split, I can't remember which goes well. Ruby, thank you for 17. Looks like you have to go past and then reverse back, don't you? Yeah. And then go through with them. I was too busy setting the points up at the farm that the uh, points are set to go to the lovely log camp.
I'm surprised I didn't derail going through there at that speed. Skills. That's what it is, skill. Generally speaking, skill does allow you to uh, derail at a higher speed. That's why we only take on the best drivers. Yeah, but Tyro, when you're not looking at the state of the switch because you're looking at another one, it doesn't make any difference. Chris, I think you've answered your own question. You can't drive that slow in seriously quick railroad logistics, mate. You've got a reputation right, sorry, to keep let up. Just, let me just uh, put my foot through the floor. Driving really slow so he can eat his shepherd's pie. Priority, it's not on. The best Priority. drivers can multitask, mate. We can eat shepherd's pie and operate a train really quickly. I'm sorry. Next thing, you'll be wanting lunch break. Nah. Don't really do lunch, me. That's it, from Full power. We have, we have digital throttles on our steam trains. Zero and a hundred. That's it. That's all you get. If you want to put that logo back onto the log thing yeah. and just see if there's any logs left on that, it might have eaten them all by now. Looking forward to Century of, Century of Steam. When does that come out? I'm going to get out of the running state. Not anytime soon. <laughs>
Really? That sounds like quite... Is it on Steam? Century of Steam. There it is. Coming soon. That's a lie. A physics-based multiplayer railroad simulator and strategy game. Is it me? Are there a lot of train sims that have come out? See, I was thinking that when I was like, that's four or five now, isn't it? Everybody's making one. Soon is relative as is time itself. Uh, Attila, thank you for 42 months and you are most welcome. Ruby, thank you for 17. It's made by a studio whose president is somebody who gets upset at the inaccuracies in Derail Valley. In other words, that game's never going get, to get released. to go there, you want to go there, and you want to go there, right, so drop off here, and then the two on the outer, that'll do. Right, am I taking these uh, log carts up to the... Okay, so if you've, uh, if the cars are empty, yep. connect to them, Yep. undo the handbrake, reverse them out anywhere on the main line, and then you can set the AI to drive it up there if you want. Okay. It's a long run and it's a bit boring, so I would just let the AI do it. All you need to do is pull it out onto the main line, make sure the points are set so it can go up to the log camp, because it needs to make a left turn at the triangle, if you know what I mean. Yep. Yeah. And then put it into... Oh, you see, I'm literally not paying attention to what I'm doing now. Um, put it into ra r road or whatever it is and forward, and it'll just go off and do it. the money tap there's no one else nah, you just go early access that's how you solve that problem did network cattle and crops about that game. I guess if we were smart, what we'd do is look at an early access title and look at who's developing and publishing it and say, have they got any kind of a reputation? And base the decision on that as to whether to go in early access. Cattling crops are still on Steam, not in early access. Is it still being developed, Rome? Has it had any updates?
That's the question. Well, I'm going to run out of money to go and find other jobs. What did they do with the source code and the rights to the game? Could they not have just sold that to a studio? Like, surely you'd have gone knocking on Focus Interactive's door and say, um, so yeah, do you want to take this project over? Yeah, sell it to Giants. Yeah, they'd love it. Starship Power, thank you. A gift and a sub to El Plagiato. Our station has 42 passengers waiting and 15 okay. active waybills in the area. In other words, there's 15 things at this station that you could move around. I've just set the AI to take over a scroll too. Okay, as long as the points are set, it'll go. Otherwise, yeah, we'll get I the did. message. I don't know what the things are. It wants to do around here, though. That's a tier one bridge site cars to bring back. To ah, yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. So they're all empty at the tier, at the phase one. PG. on that at some point we'll probably get a logistic job to move those things once they've finished upload unloading so you could do a pack run i'm gonna go up to ella and uh, grab all those cars and hold them back You could reverse into the platform now. I'm going to be heading out a different way. Yeah. There's a loco here and everything. The devs said they want to keep the license and let the community work on the game. Wait. How can the community work on the game? They've not released any source code, have they? Where do we take? Those logistics that it's talking about, the waybills. It says there was a mm. bunch of waybills here, but I can't remember how you access them. Anybody in chat know? These these things here. How do I access the? You click the station edges window. Or you have to do it that way. The video explaining it was weird and was removed afterwards. <laughs> 
great. Here you go. So if I add which switch? Oh, I see. Okay. So on the switch list, there's still a couple of things left right now. Yeah, one is the stuff you delivered earlier. One's the one I said to you, the 2318. Yeah. That'll need moving back to the interchange. You um, can hover over it and it will teleport it to you. I think the top one is the, the log carts. Uh... Well, I'm going to add all them in there. Because I'm just about to grab them. Squirrel 411 should probably be removed from this list as it's a log cut. How do you remove it? You have to control click on it, don't you? And then untick it. Yeah, it shouldn't be on that log cut. He's removing for this one and adding to the other one. The X at the end of the row panel removes it. And it should be added to the other list, the logging list. Okay. You know Ooh, to I need to yeah, need to join the logging group. Yeah, you've got to join that one and then add it to the list. And right, that will move it. That is done. See so you're heading out of Ella. I'm going to yeah. be following you. Where are you now? Just I'm halfway just down. The 30 section, yeah. What platform are you going into? What speed are you doing? Uh, 30 What's your call sign? Uh, my call sign is... I don't know. Uh, altitude's about 10 feet off the ground. I'm going to be parking at stand number 2. That's quite high for you. Exactly. I hope he's watching. <laughs> I can 
conductor oh, one. <laughs> Could be conductor two. Oh, Tom's watching. That's amazing. <laughs> So, Tom, what is your call sign? Where are you flying to? Where are you parking to, Tom? Just tuned in. What frequency what, are we yeah, on? Yeah, what frequency did you tune in on, Tom? <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you want me to flick this switch or you go to the right of me again? Uh, I was just flying down there to see what was going on. Okay, so you're approaching that now. Yeah, so you need to go left, don't you? Yeah. So I'll just go to the right side. Done. Nice. Whenever you go past something, just think about whether you need to top up. Yeah, I've been checking when I go past. I think you're in the 10 wheel and it's quite a low. It's like half the coal supply. It's like yeah. three tons maximum. I can top up with water while I'm here. There's a thing right next to it. Chris, the steam engine simulation is quite rudimentary. Although the cutoff is modelled so that you get maximum torque, and if you want more speed, you've got to bring it in. So it is modelled in that sense. But you know, you can quite happily slide the reverser from all the way forward to all the way backwards while going in the opposite direction, and it won't cause any problems. Which is something Derail Valley didn't simulate for a good while either. But that actually damages the piston cylinder. So I understand. Yeah, but Chris wouldn't know anyways. It's not like he plays with real trains. Well, it's just little ones, aren't they? And they're well, not model, they're not model correctly either. That's what I mean. Ones. I could go to like Smith's toy shop and buy one of what he plays with. A little Thomas the Tank things. They're, they're modelled correctly, aren't they? Exactly. Just put a little AA battery in the bottom. Makes a noise like a steam train. That's the same thing, really. I still think you need to go on his steam train one day, Pops, because that would just be full size for you. That'd be, it'd just be I'll amazing. I'll do skydiving first. Oh, yeah. Puppy skydiving. In but a Scooby Doo a... outfit or a Scrappy Doo outfit. Yeah. So, there's any people that own a skydiving school in chat? Pops has agreed to go skydiving as long as it's in a Scrappy Doo outfit and I can film it. It's going to be a five-part documentary series. We're going to have it on uh, Amazon Prime. Skydiving schools preferably in the UK. They make shoot. They make shoot his size. Um, the toy shop sell them, called Action Man Parachutes. I just need an umbrella like Mary Poppins, come on. If you want to make your own, just need a little uh, napkin and four pieces yeah. of string. And that'll do you. 
Pops needs to go to the R, H, and D route. What the hell is that when it's at home? Uh, the Royal. I don't know. <laughs> and turn off caps lock. Look, the AI still hasn't got there. That's how long that journey takes. Yeah. Romney Hyde and Dimchurch Railway. Uh, and where is that located? <laughs> I don't know. I've never heard of that. Kent, apparently. So, yeah, south of London. Well, southeast of London. About as far away from you as it's possible to get without going to Cornwall, <laughs> basically. I mean, it is concerning when Alex is closer to London as a crow flies than I am. <laughs> he is more British than you. <laughs> and, and why do I need to go to this uh, railway? Are you doing the WM20318 afterwards? Uh, I don't know, mate. I'm just taking all these back at the moment. Is the map bigger than Deray Valley? Um, I... I don't know. Like... There's quite a lot to it, but it's all like a... Like a big line. I mean, certainly in terms of the length you can go in one journey, yes. But, you know, if you was to wrap it all up like Deray Valley, maybe not. Wait, Frome, is that your 168 miles from London if you drive? Yeah, it's just not that far, just over the water. I'm 260 something miles from London. <laughs> and a four and a half hour drive. Oh, yeah. If you're south of London, absolutely. It's an hour drive from Calais. Even Frame is closer to London than I am. Also, I've noticed the number on the passenger station is going up because it started around like 20 and now it's up to 50. You think it's because we're leveling it up or? Yeah. Is there any way to see how we're leveling it up? Lol, frame. Station will increase your passenger based on tiers of the industry at that location and time of day. the ferry can't take that long frame. I'm a small 10 hour flight to London. <laughs>
I've just left the station for the passengers. Okay. This aren't telling me about how much, how well these railway things are, but who's paying for it? Because I'm not. It'd take me a fortune just to get to Kent. What are you on about? They're telling me how long the RH and DR railway is. Coal's gone down a little bit in the gondola, but it's going to last a long time. Seven hours hooked to Harwich and you wouldn't even feel the motion. Yeah, you can get an overnight crossing from Harwich to the Hook of Holland. It just goes really slowly overnight. I wonder if night takes the ferry or the tunnel. You, you don't want to do the you not want to do the ferry night. The tunnel is free for me. What? Wait, what? what now? Oh, I bet it's one of his job benefits. Well, if they're paying for it, it's free, I guess. Right, what's this thing that he's doing? Oh, that's up at East. Yeah, okay. I can't Tesco grab that. Club Card vouchers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It is true, actually. Tesco Club, Club Card vouchers, you can get that for free. Oh, that's amazing. We often use it to get like three months of Disney Plus and then we watch, binge watch some stuff and then leave it. That's actually quite clever, to be honest. But yeah, you don't have to use many um, to get a Euro tunnel crossing. How's your flight going, night? Just still flying. How do you know he's flying? He's stalking. No, he told me. Yeah, but flight, uh, night, the important thing is, what's your flight number? Where are you parking? What altitude are you at? These are things we need to know. Thirty-two tons. That's still got six thousand gallons of oil. Wait, what? What are they doing with that? It's supposed to be industry. Flight something something. Carly at flight level three seventy, and no clue on the gate. <laughs> That's three seven zero, Sean. Oh, sorry, I do apologise. Three seventy. Runway twenty-six uh, right. No, it's two six right. I've corrected Matty on that on occasions. I feel powerful when that happens. <laughs> well, the thing is, Bruce, I've got 
too many emotes and not enough slots, so something's got to give. Uh, Bruce, thank you for gifting two subs. Welcome, guys. Let's get this back. Yep. Oh, I didn't notice it wasn't loaded. That was my bad. That was my bad, wasn't it? It's nowhere near loaded. <laughs> Hang on. Back you go. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> I forgot it had to load. <laughs> I was thinking, oh, it's got there. I'll just bring it back. It's because it took so long to get there. change. Uh, bridge farm supply. Activated that, didn't I? Oh, we've done that one, I think. I think we've done all yeah, the that's contracts. The one you, yeah, that's the one you did, and then yeah. I did the other one. I'm still waiting for the other stuff. We can start the next phase, apparently, on that bridge repair. I started phase two. I think the cars get delivered tonight. Oh, for me, it says start next phase, $750, 25% off. I did that already, mate. When you, you remember when you said I'll be back in one minute? I did it. Yeah. But it should have updated you on my screen. You can see it, I've already done it. And the eight cars will be delivered tonight. Yeah.
Well, Jay, I, I can offer uh, voiceover work for your soothing spa sessions over at OnlyNuts.com. <laughs> Not really. It's a joke. <laughs> oh, I didn't want to go this way. Not that it really matters, but... It is, that's something, it doesn't really matter. I'm just being tidy, I suppose. You're being yourself, Paul, ain't you? Yeah, being organised is probably the best word. If I won the lottery, I'd be donating half just for that surface. Lol. <laughs> I mean, that's one way to to get rid of the, the carriage pole. It's called a Dutch drop. I'll blame Alex. Well, you know, if you're going to be uh, a speedy rail operator, this is the kind of thing you got to do. True. Very true. That'll do. I think uh, I'm ready to just skip to the next day at this point. I don't think there's anything else I need to do. Let me just deliver these passengers. This thing is outputting stuff over here. Dimensional lumber. It goes through time and space. <laughs> and it's bigger on the inside, yeah? It is, yeah. It's a lot lighter than it looks, though. Uh, do you want to take any of the contracts for the next day? I don't know. If, I literally don't know if there are any. I've got tier one in that. I've got tier one in that. Tier one in that. Tier one in that. I can't see anything else to take. Uh, L. Phillips, thank you for 73. And Mikey Monkey, thank you for half a year. Uh, you still need to wait for the log wagons to be loaded and bring them back. Yeah, we could skip an hour. And How many hours does it take? Is it four? It was four to unload them. Oh my God, what's going on here? Is that you in there? No, I'm nowhere near it. I haven't been anywhere so near it. I think what's happened is it's loaded it with logs and the AI is trying to push it back there. <laughs> like physics just got initialized like the game went it's got logs on it now so it basically started sliding and the AI went no you need to be back up there oh that's amazing he's on his way now okay but yeah skipping time won't help I guess all I can do is make sure all the points are set correctly so he doesn't have a hissy fit. Oh my god, the teleport is... Uh, where does he want to go? That one? No, that one. It was this one he didn't like. This merge. There we go. See, I have a few of the walls and coal. Nope. It will literally just drive until it hits a red fusey or a junction that's not set correctly. It's very, very um, basic AI. 
Kind of like chat GPT 0.1. Oh, it's got a lot of tracks here. Oh, so it does stop for end of track. Good to know. Whoa. That's one thing we never built in Railroads Online, a ramped up siding like that. That's cool. Probably because it wasn't the easiest thing to do. There's something about this that tells me this is a bit unfinished. Yeah. The block that says one meter, one meter, one meter. <laughs> Wait, if that's true... And that's a meter to the ground, and that's a meter to there. Then, according to this, I'm almost two meters tall. That is very tall. That shouldn't be there. It looks like a test object. Somebody forgot to get rid of that. Above the main station, around the back. It's around here. Or this thing. Wait, there's no staircase in here. How are you supposed to get up there? How do you get up there? Nothing in range. You lie. Go into the door with letters. Yes. Circular Clock Company, New York. Oh, love, it's got a second hand. I tell you what, that's very smooth, isn't it? Perpetual, like yeah. Rolex Oyster, that is. Wait, needs some equipment in here. You go through any other door, you end up with nothing at all. But that door, special. Ooh, a turntable. Now this looks like Derail Valley. And it works as well, look at this. I can't get in through the door, but I can access the handle through the window. It's completely silent. Oh, you have to click on it. You can't just walk through that one. Well, it doesn't line up terribly. Oh, it locks. I see. Can you open these? Wicked. One day we'll have this filled with premium diesel engines. Oh, I like that. Yeah. We've got a little chimney to get rid of all the yeah. exhaust. <laughs> if you drive it in the right way. Yeah. <laughs> I knew that would offend Chris. <laughs> Wait, so that's just, oh, that's a little turnaround. That's quite useful, actually. you got a turntable, but they give you a turnaround. Interesting. Nice. Hemingway. That looks like he's got no track going to it. A 
I'm guessing this is another log cam. What's that? Just a random siding. Man, look how bumpy this track is. Walker's the big logging camp. What's this one then? Wow, that is a big log camp. Golf Island. It's not even an island. Look at it. It's just covered in grass. Where's the island? Just fake news. Governor's Island is literally just a passing loop. Thirty tons left on that one. Wait, this car, this train's still not even down here yet. Is the max speed on it like ten? No, it's a twenty-five mile an hour track limit. He's going no, downhill. But, but I think on the local, when you set it to to road, there's a speed limit. Oh my. God. How did that get to 10? I swear I sent it to 25 ages ago. Basically, you can set that to whatever you like because it'll only ever go the track speed anyway. Unless it's lower than the track speed. Exactly. That would explain why it took a long time. Get in. They're just not letting me in while the AI is in the. Wow. Yeah, that water's pretty low actually. I have to refill it when it gets down there. Climbing in engines while they're moving doesn't quite work here. Um, I did manage it, but I guess it's a bit hit and miss. There you go. It works if you come from the bank. Yeah, I'm basically doing like a Titanic at the back of this train. I'm just standing there with my arms out going, hold me, Jack. <laughs> How you getting on, pups? I've done another passing job. I don't know if you want me to just wait so we can skip the day I'm set up. How many packs have you got? That's 30 waiting. Dollars, isn't it? I mean, you might as well carry on loading until it gets to the point where we're going to skip. Well, I'm going to pull into the log thing and then skip four hours to unload it. And then by then, pups might have got some more passengers.
Yeah, I've got a fusey right down there, but I've put a uh, local in front of it, which is why I switched to manual. Got one about there. He's sat on top of it. And I was thinking, AI is not going to stop, is he? He's just going to drive straight into that locomotive. Reason six. Hang on a minute. You said there are five reasons why the AI stops. And now you just add in another one. Guilt <laughs> in his heart. Yeah, anything after four is really difficult. Like a glove. Right, I'm going to put the handbrake on. Right, prepare. I'm going to skip an hour Yo. or two. One, two, three. Where's that get us? Four. Oh, they're not taking the logs. Are they full? Yeah, it's 100%. Right, it's not going to carry on em emptying them for a bit then. In which case, I'm just going to disconnect and leave it there. Sounds good. Have you got any more packs out of it? I'm just taking 35 to L uh, now. Now that you've backloaded them, it'll only unload at eight today. That's fine. I don't mind. I don't mind it having too many. I just don't want it to be like not producing because it doesn't have any supplies. Uh, Good night, Jones. 3 a.m., dude. Oh. I'm just filling up on coal and water. Okay. And then I think we should be good. Are you um, on the way up? Yeah, I'm on my way to Ella. Have you got your umbrella? In fact, I'm just about approaching it. Uh, that's where we could have set train crew easily, right under the equipment tab. Wait, how can all these be a hundred percent condition? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it says my role is president and <laughs> yours is officer. <laughs> No. Click on crew, it just goes scumbags, squirrel pups. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Officer Pops. How far away are you? Just dropped them off. Nice. 
What's your coal and water like in that loco? Oh, I've got 1.9 tons of coal and f over 3,000 gallons of water. We could sell that 10 wheeler and buy a mogul instead. Is that the one I'm in? Yeah. It yeah. only has a three ton coal capacity, which is quite small. Or carry a fancy. I will just have to log off and log back on. That's true. <laughs> which is, it only takes like 30 seconds, so it's not. Yeah. Um, it's not like constant. Okay, I'll, what time is it now? I'll skip through. Is there an advantage in going to midnight? Okay. It's quite dark. <laughs> yep. That would be the case. Five fifty AM Right, has anything spawned of consequence? Okay, it's not despawned then, they'll only go at six AM. The chat was right, the sawmill just paid you eleven hundred for the logs. Payment from Whitaker Sawmill for delivery of 22 logs, 1,185. That's quite a lot of money when you consider Pops is like running up and down getting $35 for, for a bunch of passengers and you drop some logs off and you get 1,100. Like how many runs would he have different. to do? Eh? A lot, Paul. That's insane. That's... Look, we delivered stuff to Ella Farm Supply, $68. $66, Ella Station, $72. Bunch of, like, we moved six different units around and we probably made $300, maybe a bit more, $350 yeah. maximum. We do one load of logs and we get 1,185. Packs becomes worth it when you get longer runs and more packs. Right. Yeah, he did say that, but ignore the passengers on Amici. Look at the look at the jobs we got. We're moving quite heavy heavy cars full of logistical stuff for industry, and we're getting like seventy dollars a box. Three hundred dollars for a and Pops had to take one set, and I had to take the other. And it was a lot of reversing and shunting. The logging is literally, bring it down the hill, shove it in there, and leave it. And you get 1,185. It's bonkers. Anyway. How much money have we got? We have $6,000 now. The 10-wheeler could sell for 5175 Okay. And then to buy a new one, the mogul will be 6000 So it's only a $1,000 upgrade. Or we can look at getting something more beefy that we don't need. I guess it depends what we're going to be doing. Mm. I still can't see that next phase of that bridge repair. Or just, all I get is click uh, start next phase. Well, it's almost 6 a.m. And at which point... I'll just put that on 8 to 1. That time will go a bit quicker. As soon as it hits 6... A lot of stuff is going to spawn down here. 
If it doesn't update, I could just leave and rejoin quite. The C25? What, the const consolidation? No, G25, no C25, apparently. Correct me. G25 is a $6,000, 11 ton capacity, 5,000 gallons of water, quite nice tractive effort, extra small curve radius. A better factor of adhesion. Heavier, empty, but nearly double the tractive effort. They're quite nice, them trains. That G25 mogul is actually quite nice. Hmm. A flat upgrade from the G16. Yep. Yeah. But it's $10,000 for that unit. settings put them back on two to one actually might go four to one for now okay right we have a bunch of cars back down here now uh the ella bridge site drop and okay. we have three more sawmill drops okay do you want to come and grab the sawmill ones again Yep, I'll have to reverse all the way down. Give me a second. There's a train here by the coal thing. Can I just take... Oh, i still got to get off. I'm on the main line, so I'm still going to have to move either way. Okay. And this train could do with some coal anyway. It's only got 1.9 coal. Is that the 10-wheeler? Yeah. All right, why don't you bring the 10-wheeler down here and we'll sell it. Okay. You'll have to put it in the exchange to sell it, basically, and leave it there overnight. No worries. to drop this passenger carriage somewhere mm, yes you will um yeah um you'd have to leave it in the siding somewhere where are you at the moment oh you there uh, I would just, at Whittier, just keep left, and there's a siding there you can just use. Just leave it there. Yeah. Right, right next to, almost behind the platform. Yeah. Oh, your Discord's going. Puppy has disconnected. Yeah. Oh, Discord. Either Discord's going or your internet is. Puppy the Dalek. Can you hear me? 
Not really. These look a bit like the um, nuclear containers in Deerround Valley. Puppy's gone 4K9. Uh, yes, I did. Restart the game. I don't know if Discord's back or not. It is, apparently. Because every time I push my push talk, it goes to raid. Well, I figured it was either Discord, in which case you'd stay in the game and we'd hear from you at some point, or it was your internet, in which case I'd hear a followed by puppy has left the game. Uh, MB, thank you for 32 months. Dave, how are you doing, mate? Are you back in the UK, Dave? The RDR mod allows you to move a locomotive just a couple of car lengths. I've not tried that. Uh, I've got it all in the boxes, Dave. One sec. Quite literally trying to do two things at once. Where are you, pups? Uh, reversing, Dan. I've just left the um, side in. I'm coming towards you to sell this thing. I need to get out your way somehow then. Come on, game. Control, click, select. Uh, 
Yeah, I put all the pieces in, Dave, but I've not actually put all my bits in yet. Because I've been doing other stuff this week. Mostly in the Alley Pally. <laughs> You should be able to go to that outside siding. Oh, but I've just realized that's not a sell point. That is not part of the... Uh, I should have gone there, really. Where am I taking a swing to sell it? Exactly where I am right now. Okay, all the way back. Now. Don't come past the coal thing yet. I need to move a train for you. No worries. I'm on the outside track, so I can just go straight and then drive forward into it. So you the trouble. Yeah, you can't get over now. You've gone the wrong way. I can, if I go all the way back and then I can drive in. Yeah, in which case I don't need to do any of this. Yeah. Might be easier. Okay, well... Okay, well... Mm. <laughs> I wish you'd have said that, because I could have left this train there and driven the other train up to Ella. Now this is literally in the way. <laughs> I need to move this out to the sidings now. Did you buy a new train already? No. Nope. Lol, Dave. <laughs> How was your trip to CES? Dave, did you enjoy it? Did you enjoy Vegas? Oi, I'm more fun than Alex, Dave, so pipe down. <laughs> you ate lots of steak. Is this the last CS? Wait, what? Oh, yeah, I think it is. Didn't I read about this? They were stopping doing it. It was no longer viable. I thought it was the last one, Dave. I no, thought wasn't I that, that game? Wasn't that games thing? Something to do with game developers? I thought it was CS. I'm sure I read PAX, CS. Wasn't it PAX? No, it's definitely not. Oh, E3. E3, that was it. E3 is the one that's finishing. Yeah, pups, don't move it into that small siding. You need to move it into one of these two. Not okay. the little outer siding, because that's not a sell point. Uh, it should be good to park next to you. By the one you're leaving. You can... Yeah, the, the one next to me is fine. Or this one is yep. fine, but not that outer one. No, it's Listen, Knight, Dave doesn't even know what 147 is. There's no clue. <laughs> oh, God, Boeing. I, we watched the NVIDIA and the AMD, like, keynote presentations. And um, every other sentence contained the word AI. It was genuinely getting annoying. With AI technology, enhanced by AI, 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 AI. I want somebody to do one of those meme videos where they just take every time somebody said AI and just mash them together.
You can shunt those if you want, pups. I'm surprised, Dave. I'm surprised you didn't say that they were designed by AI. Scumbag. Oh, rip. That's really annoying the way that works. What happened? So basically. You know, you've got two separate cameras, camera one and camera two. Yeah. So you're driving along in camera one and you forget that camera two goes somewhere else. So you jump to it and that's it, all hell breaks loose. And you can't get back to the train that you were originally driving. That's what just happened. And even when you run after your own train, you can't get back in it. No. Control zero to teleport your character into the engineer's seat of the current selected log. Well, I just learned to think. That's a useful tip. Jackal, thank you for 39 months. Also, Nike just has to mention 147. You really did just completely mumble to the point where nobody understood the word oh, you just sorry. said. Sorry. I said Knight has to mention 147 at every opportunity, doesn't he? Okay, I guess yes, we're going this way. You don't. I bet he wasn't even watching at the time. I bet he was one of those people that walked off. For all we know, he might have been one of those people that went out for a toilet break at yeah. the end of the previous frame and then didn't get let back in. Because that happened to the woman next to me. Yep. And the one behind me. They went out, separate frames, they went out at the end of a frame and they didn't get back in before the start of the next one, so they don't let them in. So they have to sit outside. And the best thing is, the woman next to me... It was the Higgins match, and the next frame took over 30 minutes. And so she was stood outside for over 30 minutes, and when she came back in, she said, it is freezing out. <laughs> and she didn't take a coat or anything, because she just wanted to nip to the toilet. <laughs> just ridiculous. Shift question mark and hover over a track to see the grade percentage and turn radius. Shift question mark. You gotta hold it now. 0.4%, 9 degrees. Wow. Yeah, she sure didn't tell me that, did it? Um, I don't think she did get a bottle of water, no. That was the other one that got a bottle of water. Right, I think the three I delivered earlier can go back to the interchange. Because 
Because I've got that tab mode open and it says I want to go to the interchange. Um, what, the three that you just dropped off? No, the three I did the other day in the game. Where are they? Oh, the ones back there. Yeah. The ones. Well, on if, you, if you hover your mouse over them and they say zero tons, it means they're empty. Well, okay, not well, zero, but... Yeah, but these are definitely not empty ones. They've got 52 tons in. Yeah, they won't... You don't want to move them yet. Okay. I think you can tell by pressing tab as well. Like, if it's got a colour on it, it wants to be somewhere else. But if it's transparent, it's still unloading, I think. Right equals I need to move. Dimmed equals I'm spotted. What? <laughs> I think I mean, when you press tab, if it's a brightly coloured thing, it needs to move. If it's dimmed, you don't need to move it. So yeah. basically, whether one's see for or not, because one's see for and one's not. Well, if it's like mine here, where it's brightly coloured, it wants to go somewhere. Okay, that's... I, what I think mine is like. It's not bad, Yuki. So it either needs moved in, it's completely done unloading, or it needs to go into the further into the sightings, because this is not confusing at all. Well, if you press tab and hover over it, it will light up the area for unloading. If it's in that lit up area, it will unload. And you can also check it by the, um, is it the job tab. Which which job which uh, was that the depot? Yes. Yeah. So if you go to the Whittier depot, um, you I'm can hovering hold. over it, and it says the destination is the interchange, but it also says there's 40 tons of lim lumber still on it. Yeah, but it'll only want to go to the interchange when it's empty. But is it 40 tons of lumber, or is that 40 tons of how much the car weighs? I can come down there in a minute if you want. Please. If you took your logs, made lumber out of it, it's now ready to sell. Yeah. Doesn't it create a way bill though? Like a job. When you press tab, what does it say? Like, if you look at mine, what does yeah. yours look like? Uh, mine's... It has the uh, carriage numbers, and then underneath it says East Woodsley Interchange. Okay, and is it like brightly coloured? It's like orange. Right, give me a sec, I'm just going to disconnect this.
Right, so you see what they look like now, pups? Yep. Compared to before. They were like yep. really brightly colored and now they're just yep. like transparent. That means they're doing the thing they're unloading now. Okay, well mine are not transparent, so I'm guessing they need to be moved. Okay, I'm just gonna if you want to double check. Let's have a look. Yeah, so that Whittier Exchange one, they're ready to rock and roll. Okay. Um, the other ones on the other side, the they're ones transparent. Because they're the ones you just dropped. They're not ready yet. So, yeah. So, these three are ready. And what does it tell us in the job list, then? Uh, railroad. Hmm. There must be a contract. Switch list. So if I add those three, it's in the switch list. Yep. If I go to add yours, the ones you just dropped, you see how they're crossed out? Yeah. That's because they're not ready. So I've added all six. All six cars here are in the switch list. These three are ready to go. Those three are not. Okay. But when they are ready to go, it'll uncross them, yep. and they'll go bright colored. And that's how you can tell. Have you marked Squirrel 1 for sale? Uh, no. I equipment, 10-wheeler, East Whitty Interchange, sell. Right, that will sell overnight. Unfortunately, I don't think we have enough cash to buy a new one until then. Oh, yeah, we actually do. We have 6,000. If we're just going to get a mogul, we could buy one now. Should we do that? Sounds like a plan. There we go. Loans don't actually charge interest. Yeah, it says you pay 10% every three days. A situation like these is fine to borrow what you know you'll get back overnight. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on. If you borrow money and then you pay it back after two days, do you pay no interest at all? Or do you pay two days of interest? Right, so if you pay it back before the first payment, they don't charge you anything. What a hack. enough money just to eat the interest is never a reason to not loan. Yeah. It's 
there's no point taking a loan and buying locomotives that are not going to turn a profit. Otherwise, you're just paying interest for no reason. Like, if you've got people or whatever to run those locos and earn money, then yes. But if you've got too many locos lying around, it makes no sense. No, did Drew think of 74? It's like a credit card. It's nothing like a credit card. Credit cards charge you a daily interest. <laughs> you can't get away with that on a credit card. Oh, I suppose you mean if you're buying something, you don't pay any interest on it. That's what you mean. But yeah, if you borrow cash off a credit card, you pay from the day that you borrow the cash. But if you purchase goods, because the merchant has paid the fee, they allow you a few weeks of interest free. I just explained it, you can, if you take cash out, you will. If you, if you go to the cash point with your credit card and you withdraw cash, you will pay interest from the day that you take the cash. If you buy goods with it, you won't until your next statement date. into the interchange okay where do you need to go uh, I'm just bringing this loco down okay you can really feel the weight of these carriages <laughs> <laughs> yep the log ones in particular I think the game is having desync issues right now. Why? I don't have a clue what my train is doing. Is it in AI mode or not? No, as in it's just frozen the game, so I don't know what my train is doing. Well, according to what I can see, not a lot. You've got two locos, number two and number four. What are you trying to do here? Oh, okay. I see the problem. Uh, the game is desynced again, and I can't see what's on that track. So you just smashed into train four? Yeah, because it's not there on my screen. 64% condition derailed. I mean, I can even post a screenshot and prove it's not there on my screen. And it's not there on my map either. 64. That's an expensive mistake. That thing's not even driven a mile. Not even a right, Before meter. you go, oh, that's an expensive mistake. Brand new. Brand new. And he just did a roam. That's what he just did. No, I did not. Well, I guess we're going to take our brand new train into the repair yard.
I'm not having this. I'm uploading an image. <laughs> right. There is no train on my map or my screen. Let me just disconnect and reconnect so they get synced again. I do have repair stuff on hand, yeah, but it just means it's going to be out of action for like a day or two. It honestly wasn't my fault. I didn't see it because it wasn't there. What's your draw distance on? No, it's because it was a new loco, wasn't it? To be honest, Pops does have a point. Because it is a brand new loco, he can't see it due to a bug in the game. And I did post a screenshot to prove that I can't see it and it's not on my map either. So, like, he literally can't see that loco until he disconnects and reconnects because there's a bug in the game. And I spawned it in, didn't remember that he has that problem, but I didn't <laughs> I know he was spanking it down that siding. So that I, I was going to move this up to the log thing in a second, but I thought, I'll just bring my train down first. <laughs> to be fair, I forgot I had that bug thing as well. Oh, well. Right, I need you to... Um, Move your local back a little bit if you can. Yeah, yeah. Make sure the game is... Right, I can see it now. That's kind of annoying bug. When you open Sylvia Branch or Bryson Branch, special demand will increase pretty significantly. Remember buying the passenger cars when it happens. Yeah. As long as they pay well, Not giving him a dollar a ticket, let's put it that way. The observation car is a little 25 packs boost and gives you 20% extra payout. Wait, you can put that on? Woo, that was a little kiss. 100% condition. So there's an observation car you can put on the back of a passenger train and it will give you a boost to your cash, is that what you're saying? Uh, did I smash anything up, Yuki? No. Nothing damaged. has to be on the end of the train. Wait, so your observation thing has to be on the end of the train. <laughs> Why? The observation car when placed with the balcony facing cleaner will mean passengers on the train get charged 20%. Oh, it's just those passengers or is it everybody on the train? entire train. Brilliant. I'll tell you what, that gondola of coal lasts a long time. Yep. I really hope that they fix that bug. 
Yeah, I think, as it's higher up, said it was in the Discord server. It's been reported. Yeah, three days ago, someone mentioned it. I completely forgot. Well, it's not really going to cost us that much money. It's just going to cost time having this loco out of action. Yeah. Time is money, yep. We'll just have to use the ten wheeler and then put it back later. Uh J Bansel, thank you for thirteen months. Accidents happen. Remember to bar mark both the loco. Oh, you have to mark them for repair, really? Repairs estimation. I did not know that. That didn't teach you that in the um, in the tutorial. Interesting. I'd have just put it in there and expected it to get repaired. Yeah, hundred percent taught you that in the tutorial. No, it didn't because I didn't see it. If I didn't see it, it didn't happen. Yes, I fixed my train. And I'll fix my beard. Zoom, we just get out now and it'll just do its thing. I remember it tells you somewhere, doesn't it? Equipment. Uh, hmm. There's no estimate on the repair yet. Was it in the location you had to do it? Depot. Six hours. Okay, that's not too bad. That's before the end of the day. That's all right. Am um, I putting scroll two back on the log thing? Oh, um, one's, one's still got a log on. Has it? So yeah, let me, advance, one. let me advance an hour. It may be full, actually. Uh, wait one hour. Oh, it's gone. Cool. Yeah. If you pull that back out onto the main line. And then just set the AI up again. Set the points and then send the AI off with it. Sounds good. Scroll 2 will need repairing. I thought that didn't get any damage. Scroll 2 doesn't have any damage. Yeah. That, that was the weird thing, but the tender might. But the tender Yeah, does. the tender's 63%. Your tender got wrecked. Yeah. At some point, that's going to need repairing. That's annoying. Well, one thing at a time. Yeah, I'm just going to have to make a mental note every time we buy something to leave and rejoin. Yep. Right, what are these down here? These are the ones you just put there. Yeah. That's the one for sale. We have nothing on the switch list. Two lads and a 50% rep bonus bonus are getting a third manpower for free. Too bad your rep will come down after 6 p.m. due to that derail. <laughs> how, do, how do we get the rep back up again? Because we've just started building the bridge down there. I mean, come on. They've got to cut us some slack. Yeah, also, it was a game bug. We didn't do it on purpose. Exactly. Can't blame us for a game issue. 
Like, how does that work? There's three. No, 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 no. I don't know what. Just move that card in there. Can you check in the repair shed just to see if I've not moved that car that train too much? Yeah, one second, I shall check for you. That bugs me. You've got a train Damn selected that. down here and you're in a completely different one. You start operating it yep. and another train somewhere on the map starts moving. <laughs> yeah, I've done that before. Safety goes down based on the number of derails in the last five days. Uh, um, it's still in the shed. It's still cool. Fine. Well, you can just point the finger at early access and blame that. <laughs> uh, I guess we're going this way. Right, where are you? I am up at... Whittier. So you can do the log thing and just check the engine shed. Engine shed is fine. What, the train's still on yeah, the repair section? There. Yeah, yeah. Eight active freight waybills in the area. Are you kidding? I think that's these log carts. Well, where I am? Surely this is not the that area. Surely. That's the log cars. Okay, that's a bit of a range. Oh, because that's East Whittier Yard, isn't it? Oh, okay. Uh, Mr. Grendock, thank you for 62 months. Right, logging carts on the way. Love one. Get some rep back, take some passengers. That's 
see a train. Oh, it's going that way. It's locked. Alright, there is nothing on the switch list. Yep. Ooh, some of these people want to go to Connolly Creek L2. Oh, that's the freight. <laughs> Wait, what? Where, oh, what's that then? Is that that's the, all the uh, log carts, yeah. I thought we had a new station for packs then. Forty hours sixty. And that's all of them. Next on that box is Bryson, unless you buy Sylvia, and that's a choice. <laughs> Where's Bryson again? Uh, looking at the map. You can't get it yet anyway. The bridge is not built. Bryson was the big one, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, we're yeah. working on the bridge, but I don't know how far that bridge will extend us down there to. Will it go to Bryson? Bryson will be available once the bridge is done, and we'll give you a load of freight. Right, okay. So we're on phase two, and tonight there'll be another eight cars. Well, actually, no. Once those eight cars have unloaded at Ella, um, they will be on the switch. I put them on the switch list, I think. Yeah. So once... No, I didn't. Maybe you want to go up there and do that. If you're doing nothing, teleport up to the 30 mile an hour limit at the edge of Ella's track. Oh, and put all of them on the switch list. You could just put one on the switch list, because once one's ready, the rest will be. And then we'll know. We can just bring them all back, and then I can start phase three. All right, it's on the switch list, one of them is. Not all 13 cars will unload at the same time. Why do you have to complicate everything? <laughs> <laughs> so we do want all 13 on the switch. Apparently, list. yes. <sighs> I'm going the wrong way. I thought I was going to Ella with a bunch of passengers. Benna. Is that not where they want to go? They can only go to Ella. Where else can I take them? I'm not doing 45 and a 30. I'm doing 45 just before a 30. Flipping egg. This is seriously quick railways. People we, are so... We go quickly and so we have a speed limit. Then we slow down. Do you do 30 on the motorway? No. Uh, you always add about 15 miles an hour onto the motorway speed limit, don't you? Apparently I'm going the wrong way. I'm exceeding the speed limit. The main line's 35. Not this main line. I've got special dispensation. If it's a straight piece of track, there's no speed limit. It's as quick as your train will go. Oh, is it with people? Damn, enjoy life. <laughs> oh, what's the snooker? No one in chat answer that. Because that would be spoilers. Well, Ronnie. He's not even playing. <laughs> no, I know that. Right, they're all marked on the thing. The um, switch list, that's the one I'm looking for. Okay. Oh, 
I see you. I am not going to Sheffield now. Those environmentalists put me off going ever again. I agree. I'll tell you what, the Crucible spectators are a lot less rude than the Ali Pali ones. I said that to you though, didn't I? Yeah, just, yeah. Completely also, different people. Yeah. Also, frame it does kind of have a minimum speed limit, otherwise you get pulled over and a ticket for going too slow. Yeah, you can get pulled over for driving too slowly on the motorway, bro. You're meant so to keep keep up to uh, the speed of other traffic, generally speaking. Forty-six dollars. That's not all of them. Noise. Well, we don't know how they got though, do you, Rich? I reckon those environmentalists probably travelled to Sheffield on their personal helicopter and then took a diesel cab from the helicopter over to Sheffield <laughs> and they used non-biodegradable orange powder to spray all over the snooker table by the way Baz is playing SnowRunner what does he want? a medal? knowing Baz he's probably like completed all the maps Baz have you completed all the maps? <laughs> He's got a hundred percent everything. There you go, you got a hundred percent everything on solo. I think I'd have the patience for that. That's tryhards. <laughs> that is the definition of tryhard in right there. Uh, new Axel, thank you for 65 months. Secretary of Transportation did a similar thing this summer. Hopped out of a motorcade and biked the last mile to the cameras. <laughs> well, sounds about right. Is 
Is that you in the passenger thing? No. Maybe. Do you feel safe exceeding the speed limit? I do. I feel incredibly safe, Paul, because I know a genius is driving the train. Exactly. The correct answer. And I think people should stop saying that you're doing more than the speed limit because as we established, with us in charge, there is no speed limit. We're only doing 42 miles an hour. I mean, it's not really that quick, is it? Not really. Basically, if you're late for your appointment, we'll get you there on time. GJ. If only I can actually get out of this stupid train. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where's the... Because um, he's actually... Looks like he's in place, actually. Do you want to jump over and check it's loading? Yep. That's being repaired. That's going to get sold. Indeed, it's loading. Cool. Right, I'll skip forward some time then. Let's wait for these to unload and I'll skip an hour. Cut. If your tea is spilled, you don't drink fast enough. Exactly. I won't be able to beat it in this loco, no. Go. Right, they're all loaded. We have a right. few things that are ready on the bridge site, but not all of them. So if I... So what I could do... I could load this up. Because it kind of looks like they're going to finish, doesn't it? Yeah, do you want me to send the log cart back down? Is it full? Yeah. Yeah, send it back then. Send it back and get it over at the unload points. I will take passengers up to Ella because I think that bridge is going to be ready shortly. Okay. I've told so, the AI to refer. Because I really want to get that done before tonight because then we can start the next phase and spawn the cars before midnight. Sounds good. All right, logs are on the way down. I don't know, Bozzy, there's diesel trains, so I guess, you know, there's more modern stuff. There's no electric. Yeah, I'll just normally finish this off. But thank you for the time check. We'll get this done. Start it's the next phase. You've been away for two weeks. People want to mention time checks. <laughs> I'd enjoy the stream for what it was and well, sit that's... back and relax on this Yeah, Saturday. but mate, you wouldn't know because you wasn't there, but this afternoon's stream, it got to quarter past three and nobody had told me. See, now that is rude because everyone knows that's your lunch break. Yeah, but everybody was, like, saying nothing. So I completely went past my, uh, my lunch break. See, now that I do think the chat is rude then. And you know what reminded me? My stomach. So my stomach was like... You can always rely on the stomach. Yeah, it was like, I'm hungry. Why am I hungry? Wait, what? It's quarter past three. No, I'm not hungry, Bigfoot. Look 
this 41.6 what's our maximum speed so far 42.3 uh, I think 46 ish and tune it a bit more there we go 45 let's go 46 47 come on can we get the bullseye let's get the bullseye on the clock before I have to slow no I just nearly derailed the whole train oh that's a lot of smoke that's a lot of smoke I think I just derailed something uh, that's not good a lot of gravel though <laughs> it was going so well <laughs> did it derail yeah it must have done yeah it did Stupid tender car couldn't take it. 60% condition. In fact, the whole train derailed. 58%. This is not going to do our rep any good whatsoever. Yeah, the whole thing just derailed, mate. Long. Just when I got to like, what was it, 47, I think. And all of a sudden it just went, boom, and there was smoke everywhere. It's another train we need to repair now. If it hadn't have been for that bend, it'd have been absolutely fine. not even that sharp look at it on the map it's like it's almost a yeah. straight line you were doing 50 on a 35 wait did i reach 50 did i actually get to 50 Close enough. Yeah, but did I get to 50? I didn't see 50. 48. Forty-eight point two. Mm. That's not good enough. Those passengers won't be very happy with that at all, will they? Having said that, the passenger car didn't derail, so they probably never felt it. They were just like, why are we stopping? Nothing, nothing, just need to uh, fix a little thing down here. Oh, the passenger coach is 98%. So that's how you damage it, by going too quickly. It's fine. Oh yeah, once that extra line's open, I'm going to get 50 out of this thing, no problem. Come on, can you get off quicker than this? Right, let's put this out of the way for a second.
Yeah, but there's a door at each end, isn't there? So at the very least, you can probably get two off every second. Flight shunting hype. Oh, yeah. This is how we roll. Uh, bridge site, bridge site. I think they're all ready now. They look ready to you? Actually, yeah. Pops, there's a couple you can get, though. Yeah, I can move the ones I delivered earlier to the interchange. Let me knock another oh. hour, see if it gets you any more. Two of the three can move, one's still being sorted. Is it close to finished? Uh, I think so, yes. Yeah, that's it finished, I can move it. It doesn't model air pressure properly. Okay, they're all ready to rock and roll. Yeah, it only has eight cars. Remember the load train. Has the load train finished loading hubs? Or unloading, or what? Uh, I've just delivered it to its unloading point. I have to wait for it to come down the hill. I'm not going to disconnect from that and then move the others. I'm going to get these into the interchange and then we should be able to actually we'll probably start the next phase now. Yeah, there you go. Final phase. Six cars will be delivered at the interchange tonight. So that a big foot. Hopefully that train is now repaired now, which is just, which is good because it means I can put this one in there. <laughs> I think our rep reputation is going to take a bit of a hammer into it. One from a game bug, and one because we were just trying to live up to our name. 
Oh. Both shed tracks and repair tracks. Yeah, that's true. Well, I haven't got the coach anyway, so. But I think the passenger coach is on like 93% or something. Even when you get like fast diesel trains, you're still limited by the tracks. Yep. Not coming through. Um... No, I'm in the um, sidings where the sawmill is. Okay. I'll be coming down to the interchange, basically. Yeah, no. Diesels can pull and aren't limited by water. True. Yeah, but if the passenger car is on 93%, I don't see the point. It's a bit slow coming back. <laughs> I'm trying to work out why. Is it because it's like a slight incline? 0.3%. It's weird. Right, I'm now with you. So I'll be coming down towards the. You might want to check the uh, interchange soon. Yeah, you just might need to check the switches. I've been shunting stuff around. I'm at the log triangle now. That's going to come in there. Where are you? 
interested in a side in. Okay. Hmm, that's interesting quandary. Let's push this out of the way. Totally the wrong side of this thing. These need to go to the interchange as well. That was a mumble I didn't understand. I said these need to go to the interchange as well. Yeah, about that. The interchange is looking pretty full at the moment. <laughs> yeah. Have to bring that other logo back around. Yeah, I'm fine, but my logo is going to be trapped in the middle of it all, which is less than ideal. I'm going on the far outside track again. Oh, that's not far enough. Uh, okay. Because I'm going to push the three carriages forward to get these three in as well. possible to keep up the right like the camera's sliding like that and you can't click the pixel that you want it's a little bit annoying yeah Lock. It was skill.
What are you doing bringing that stuff back onto the... The interchange here. I put them on the one with the other carriages because these are ready to go as well. Well, you need to put it on the lane two, as it were. Yeah, yeah. If lane one's the main line, the next one... Yeah, lane two. should basically take care of all of that. Yeah, I got stuck in the uh, in the engine repair centre. It needs a bit of a spit and polish, and the wheels need grinding out, and some other stuff. Maybe a new axle or two. I'm going to repair both the tender and this, but I can't do much about two right now. Should get both of those repaired. Sounds good. What's that in? That's in a hundred percent. What state's your training? Uh, I think your tender's broken, isn't it? My tender's on sixty-three. Yeah. Do you want to pull it forward? Because this is a free slot over here now. No, you scumbag game. I can do. I don't want that train. I want that train. Every time. I was on the way. You on the on main line? No, 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 I'm in the side in part. Oh, you're over there. Wait, where are you? I had to drop these three carriages off, didn't I? Oh, you're in that bit. You're going to have to get down the main line. Or the lane four you can get out of. Yeah, I'm going lane four. It's not muscle memory room for me to do that yet. Like, I'm used to getting in a, a locomotive and operating the one I'm in. 
This is the first game I've played where you jump in a locomotive and you can actually physically operate something on the other side of the map. Muscle memory's not there yet to check the name of the locomotive against the one I'm in. Hence why I keep driving the wrong train. Good night, thanks. I think the skybox is super weird. Oh, yeah, it is. set. Yep. I've set your equipment to repair, you just need to reverse it in. Job done. I am still alive, Crisps here. <laughs> still here. Mm. Well, with railroads on an extended, you could roll. By 6 a.m. Um, they should all be done, shouldn't they? Let's have a yeah, look they it should says. be. It says, uh, oh my God, 13 hours? 13 hours to repair. Oh my wow. life. Wow. I wonder if you hire some more people. 11 hours. That's going to take a little while. Just a little bit. But that's what happens in this business, Paul. It is. When you're pushing the envelope, accidents are going to happen. Right, that's it, guys. I should be back tomorrow, 11 a.m. Hope to see you there. Thank you for watching. Thanks for the support, etc. I'll be back. Right, thanks for playing, pups. No worries. Thank you for the invite. I should wish you all a very good night, and I shall see you tomorrow for some more stream shenanigans. <laughs> all right, take it easy, guys. Have a good evening. Love you all. Good night.